Welcome to the GR Rideshare Adventures Podcast. Rideshare infotainment for the new driver, old driver, and everyone in between. Hi guys, welcome to the GR Rideshare Adventure Podcast live stream. I'm Jason, your host, with you, with Jesper, Nick, Hello. and special guest returning, Gabe. Gabe. <laughs> and producer Ben, he does not have a mic tonight, so just to let you know, because... Gabe wanted to come, and I was like, all right, I guess. <laughs> so uh, Gabe's on tonight. We're all going to talk about the penny surge, although I didn't call it that. I keep seeing people call it that. It's Timothy Burns calls it the penny surge. Penny, yep. I don't know if that's what everyone calls it or what. But So, yeah, you know everyone. Gabe's been on before. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just get right into the stories from the past two weeks. I just said to the guys before we went live, I'm like, I don't have – any stories and Gabe's like, yeah, the trash lady. I'm like, oh, the trash lady. <laughs> so I guess I'll go first. So, you know, Jesper or Nick can go after me if they have any stories. Nick probably didn't drive. So, what are you talking I've um, more than everyone here. Can we turn you? Nick's mic down, please? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I probably have more stories, but I, the only one I can think of is that Gabe brought up the trash lady. So I go pick up this lady. Um, I mean, they're kind of projects. Do you know where I'm talking about? Where at? It's like Eastern and 28th, but right behind the laundromat, there's a, it's like Laraway Street or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. doesn't matter. Lower end apartments. And uh, we go. I go there, and I'm waiting for her, and it's down to like two minutes. And I see this lady come out, kind of walk away from me towards the uh, trash can. And it was a big dumpster, and it wasn't overflowing. The lids were closed, and she threw the trash right in front of... The dumpster and i'm like why wh- what <laughs> and i know you know the story but i was just like you seriously couldn't pull the lid up and put it in and then i mean you spent more effort walking all the way there one more step and one more arm movement and i didn't have my well the dash cam is a different story i didn't have a dash cam <laughs> in my car but um all the guys said i should have cancel the ride or or no no you said go over there pick the trash up throw it in there then cancel the ride ride. show her how to do it it's just i i don't understand people like i mean i can get it if it was overflowing and like you know you've seen dumpsters like that where there's overflowing okay throw it in the pile in the front whatever but i was just like it was a good ride though it's all the way to walmart so i can't complain i'm glad i kept it i'm trying to hit a bonus bro (laughs) Go to Walmart. Yeah. Go to Walmart. <laughs> Why am I not surprised you said Walmart? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. They were employed there, actually. <laughs> Both of them. Again, not surprised. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It just pissed me you off. You should go to whatever aisle she works at at Walmart and just... <laughs> oh, just knock. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> God, that would have been super awkward, though. Oh, I did have another story. I kicked a guy out. Yeah. Uh, um, That was at Walmart, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was at a different Walmart. I picked him up. And oh, I know it was. He come out of the the um the door, the door, the the sliding door, and I'm maybe 200 feet back, and it's really congested. He waves me to come get him. I said, no, 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 come here, like that, because I didn't want to. You know, you never want to get yeah. caught in that congestion. You just want to get your passenger and scoot out of there. Well, and you don't want to block the entry into the store. And Absolutely, all that just common sense, right? I just stay away at least a little far back, and uh, so he, he lo- reluctantly walks over, gets in the car. And I'm like, oh, sorry about that. You know, I just didn't want to block, you know, it's just so congested up there. And no, no comment, silence. Okay, whatever. I started driving. I'm like, I confirmed like where he was going. He's like, you have the address in the app. I was like, okay. I was right at the end of the parking lot. I was like, get out. Because I knew I was going to get a one star anyways. Right. He's like, I'm not paying for this. I'm like, nope, you sure not. I'm canceling the ride. So you won't have to pay for it. You just have to get another. He just kind of sat there and stared at me and then got out. But I'm like. I'm not dealing with this. He said thank you or something. Yeah, yeah, or have a good day. And I'm just like, I mean, maybe I overreacted a little bit. I mean, I never overreact, so I don't know why, (laughs) why you know he would think I was overreacting. But well, I I think they think that we should take whatever they give to us. Yeah, as far as an attitude, because they're paying for a ride. I understand he was frustrated, but he should have said to me, "Man, I was kind of frustrated that you didn't pick me up. Move head back. Why?" Oh, I have to move back? No, oh, me. Oh, Jesper. I was trying to be discreet over there. Oh, <laughs> he's hol- discreet. He's holding up, like, 
what do you like a, a sign turner like a script someone's reading a script that's real discreet next time take your shirt off if you want to get my attention move the logo man come on yeah I, yeah come on you're the producer just move the logo um <laughs> there you go um where was i when he rudely interrupted me oh you said that like they we have to take that attitude and i and if he would have just said hey man it was kind of a bummer that um you know i had to walk over here and and although i did explain it why i did it so screw him it's no different than when you're picky <laughs> the people want you to pick up in front of the bob right I actually, honestly, have not had that much pushback. Have you from that? Well, I think on occasion? the majority of us drivers are refusing to pick up yeah. in front of the Bob. So. I, I feel the volume has gone down a little bit. Back 40. Yeah, that's a cluster you F. You can't I, do anything about I will 40. text. I had a girl, <laughs> and no. Well, I'll pick up in the alley or on Commerce. I know you pick up at B-Dubs, but it's, it's busy over there, too. I know Commerce isn't the, the super ideal because it is a little tight there, but I pull further down by where that kind of that ramp uh, is on that would be I don't know what side of the road, but if you turn right on Commerce, it would be on the right hand. It's on side. the west side, yeah. Yeah, the west side. Thank you. Um, but I won't. Uh, I won't uh, pick up in front of the back forty. Well, there's just there's loading zones right there by Buffalo Wild Wing. That's why I pull up right there. Every yeah. time I drive through there, it's always packed. Me too. Though. I guess I'm lucky. I pull into the to the alley all the time. The alley, yeah, and usually you can actually sometimes drive all the way through. Yeah. Oh, I but, always do. Yeah. But sometimes on the Saturday nights, they have a trailer and a truck there from the band, and you can't drive through. True. Do you but, just drive through them? Yeah. You just kind of plow that van through and just be like, oh, yeah. Well, I haven't you know, I haven't always been able to get through so far. So. <laughs> well, yeah, then, then <laughs> clearly you haven't seen the truck and trailer, but it's definitely there sometimes. So. Oh, I've seen it, so. Yeah. All right, what about you, Nick? Any stories? You, not really. I haven't had anything exciting yesterday. You don't matter. Well, Apparently I mean, not. I no, it's fine, it's fine. Well, do we have no, to go no, round Nick, robin yes, like this? Nick, I do, I wanted to go crisscross. Go ahead, Nick, it's fine. <laughs> no, I like I said, I don't have anything interesting. Just that the last two Fridays I've had my last ride has brought me to my neighbor's house. Really? Yes. That's <laughs> so convenient. Then you just go home. <laughs> that is nice. So the last two Fridays I've skipped out on the bar crowd. Well, it's not been that great. Anyways, sorry, I'm chatting with somebody so. That's all your stories? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had an airport rider that was rated a 4.45. But, again, with airport, it's kind of a crapshoot. She it, didn't tip me, so I wish I wouldn't have given her five stars. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. For what? <laughs> I like oh, my God. This is going to be a great night. Uh, all right, what, yes, is but... Paula on here? Oh, yeah. No, no, Paula. <laughs> yeah, is Paula like, what's up? Um, okay, Jesper, any stories for you? No, I don't have any. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, so I only drove last Friday. Um, I, and my only story really is I had a uh, an almost puker uh, in my car. Uh, he was going out to Allendale, um, and uh, I had to stop three times for him to... <laughs> pull over were they and, were and, they nasty sounds oh yeah lots of sounds <laughs> and, yep 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 in 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 the street though so that was good <laughs> yes in the so, street is good were so, you yeah. zigzagging while you were driving on purpose or <laughs> no. well we know no. we've seen him hit a curb so we know he tries it on purpose <laughs> well not with pe- people in my car <laughs> so that's it that's your story lame i, I thought it was one more I forget what that was. That was probably my story then. All right, Gabe, got anything? So I had the pukers from Grand Valley. They exchanged the kids from uh, Germany. That's right. The girls. That was a lot of puke, right? Yeah, yeah, two people out of the three. Not even in your Jeep. Yeah, no, it's my <laughs> friend's car. <laughs> Oh, I remember wow. reading that Facebook comment. I was so <laughs> mad in my car. Oh. Yeah, I was like. I was picking up from the bus stop that goes out to Grand Valley because they thought the bus ran. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they look okay. All right. Well, wait, what time does the bus end? It must go <sighs> late on the weekends. It does, but they it was like a, after two, so they missed oh. it. I, for some reason, I thought that bus line ran to Grand Valley like all night. Because they were sitting there. <laughs> well, two of them, one was standing, one was sitting, and then one came around like. One was in the fetal wall. position. 
And I was just like, all right, these girls, it'll be interesting. Let's see. <laughs> so they get in, and we literally drove like 300 feet, and the one pukes. And I was just like, there's puke bags back there. Yeah. And the girl's like, where, where? And I'm like, in the back seat. So she grabs one, hands it to her. And then the other one, I can hear her, like, you know, grabbing the other one. And I'm like, and then I have two the entire time, oh, like back to back, just puking. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, so I start turning up the radio, and the girl up front who paid for the ride, who wore the ride, she's like, thank you so much for <laughs> turning that up. And I'm just like, yep. Well, it's a smell too, right? Was Do you it think nasty? The one yeah. puked because the other one puked? I don't know. They no, because when I dropped them off, the one, the second one who puked was sitting on the curb in Allendale puking, while the first one was wandering down, like the I don't know commons area between the buildings, mm-hmm. like staggering. And then the one who was not puking was standing there with the other one that was sitting on the curb. But they were they were their girls. They were out for a birthday, and I was like, "It's an expensive birthday tonight." Yeah. Well, did you <laughs> yeah. freeze them out? You know what that means? Um, I did roll the w- down the window a little bit because it was it smelled. Well, that, but I always say, well, like if you think you're gonna, well, you didn't have a chance. It was like 300 feet, and they were going. No, to town. we literally went to go around the curb where yeah. the Blue Bridge walkway is. Yeah, from the but so like it that, by 300 that, feet. That's what it started for me right there. Yeah, and <laughs> I was just like, cursed. oh no. Well, yeah. When we say for everyone that's listening that might be new, um, that when we say freeze them out, if you think you're going to get a puker, or you got some gurgling going on, turn the air condition on, even in the middle of winter, just make it cold as hell because everyone's been um, drinking anyway, so they're going to be hot. Anyway. We're right. Well, everyone's been hung over, or no, even right, when you have right. the flu, what are you? You're always sweating. You're hot. You're like you want. I mean, I lay on the they, floor. I'm usually I can tell. I'm like, oh, they look a little rough. Like, and I'll ask, hey, are you okay? Are you going to get sick yeah. before they get in the car? I nothing like. There was nothing to pick up on. Okay. I just thought she looked really tired because she just was like, because I had a girl that I picked up uh, from a house. She was wasted. That's my other story. I picked up, what time was it? Four in the morning. Wait, like he comes out and he's like, look, I have to get my friend up. It's really hard. Okay. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? What do you mean you have to get her up? She's drunk. Okay. And I'm like, all right, I wait. So I'm sitting there waiting, and I'm just like... Were they going to drive together? Yeah. Okay, good. I thought yeah. he was loading her up to go. I would no, have been like, no, 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 no. So she gets in the front. Apparently, it was her birthday celebration. Yeah. Like, they were probably the, my best ride ever, because they were just... She was so drunk, she was hilarious. <laughs> like, I was cracking up the entire time. She was like, I just want to get in my bed and get naked. I just want to take my bra off right now. I was like, keep your bras on. Yeah. Like, don't don't take them off. And she you said like, bras? Yeah. Plural? Yeah. Did she, you think she had two on? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the way she was talking the whole ride. Yeah. Like, we were going to Belmont from, like, Leonard in, what was it, Plainfield area. And I'm like, they were. we got to almost Leffingwell and nap. And she was like, I want McDonald's. And I'm like, mm. where's there a 24-hour McDonald's? I'm like, oh, Plainfield. And she's like, yeah, let's go. So I ended up taking them to McDonald's and then taking them home. But the entire time, like, she just, she had the seat all the way back. It was laying on her friend's lap. And he's like, you're crushing my legs. And <laughs> she said she doesn't care. It was her birthday. She could do what she wanted. I had to make her put her seatbelt on. She was, like, yelling at the alarm in my car because it beeps until you Shut put it on. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. And I'm just like, all right. I Like, I have, that, I have the video. I should probably save it and I can give it to you. Like, she just, the stuff she was talking about. You mean the video from my, my camera that I yeah. sold to you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, so, you know, I had that one and then I don't think I had anything else crazy. Okay. Everybody's pretty calm. All right, well, that's good. All right, we're at our first giveaway points, 945, right on the money. So we're, so we're giving away... Uh, Four Amazon gift cards, four twenty-five dollar Amazon gift cards, and uh, that's for reaching five thousand subscribers on YouTube. So it's kind of a just a celebration time for that. And so the first question uh, that you have to answer, and you have to answer in either YouTube or Facebook, is how long was your furthest rideshare trip? Give us an answer for that, and then uh, Ben will pull the names from that, and then do a random drawing. So, Gabe, you can't win. Yeah, I know. He's like, oh, dang, I should have not come tonight. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at it. I know. So, 
All right, we're going to get right into our plug since everyone's online now because of the giveaway. Uh, if you listened to the live stream when it started and made our last podcast, we had a new voice guy, a new voice guy, a guy that offered his services for free, which is awesome. Uh, which is awesome. Yeah, I went to his site and he actually does that for podcasts. I don't know if he he's trying to get his his voice out there. He knows if he does it for free for podcasts, all of a sudden people start hearing his voice like crazy. You know what I mean? So his name is Adam Grant Voice. Uh, Adam Grant is his name, and then the his website is Adam Grant Voice. Uh, dot com. So check him out if you have a podcast or a YouTube channel or whatever, and uh, and do that. So um, I will post that unless unless Ben I, Ben's I put it on the you're, I put you're, it on the YouTube. So okay, yeah. uh, okay, thank you. And next, of course, our Zazzle and uh, Zazzle store, Zazzle dot com slash gr rideshare. It's got a lot of cool stuff on there. I know we keep saying that. Go buy some stuff. Come on, support your favorite rideshare podcast, the only one that matters. <laughs> gr rideshare adventures. <laughs> Was, was that good? Did you like get, that? Did you get Adam to do that? Yeah, yeah, I know, that right? Good, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. All right. And then our Patreon account. I'm going to work on the rewards for that. We only have one, and it's our super fan, Larry. Larry Duncan from Kentu- from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Good old um, Larry. If you go to – I need to get a, a special URL for that. But patreon.podbean.com slash GR Rideshare. Um, and uh, basically on there is uh, three tiers of rewards – um, you know, one of them, like Larry gets the podcast early as soon as I'm done editing it. If I do it in advance and not the night before, <laughs> he gets the podcast right away so he can listen to it, doesn't have to wait and stuff. So just check that out. So one last thing, and this is new. Um, and I'm sure you've seen it on the uh a lot of the Facebook pages, the the gaming tablet called Octopus. I was looking at that. Yeah, so it is not in Grand Rapids yet, but we do have um a link here that uh, Ben will share on Facebook and Yesra will share on YouTube, that uh, if you sign up, you use our code GR Podcast. Um, that kind of helps us out a little bit. So I am getting a tablet to test. Uh, it w- I won't make any money on it, um, but I'm just going to test it out, see if p- passengers like it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, hopefully a lot of people sign up, and then they're like, oh, hey, Grand but, Rapids. Yeah, it, it is based on advertisers, so, I mean, we got to... If they have a lot of users signed up, that's true. I mean, if but if people aren't buying ads in Grand Rapids, then it's useless to them. So that's we still haven't even gotten cargo here. No, we haven't. And there's been a lot of people that signed up. But don't be a Debbie Downer. Just shut up. Detroit We're not talking market. about cargo. I'm being a realist, okay? <laughs> okay. So let me just break down Octopus. So again, it's a gaming tablet. Um, I have some highlights. Uh, drivers get a free tablet with games. Uh, for your passengers, along with a free data plan and auto updates. Oh, thanks for the auto updates. Like, nothing else does that. Our current drivers, they have more than 5,000 report higher tips, better ratings, and better conversation with their passengers. Our drivers get cash rewards for driving activity and passenger gameplay. It says up to $100 per month. I asked her about that. You can earn more, but it's almost impossible to get more than that because it's like a point-based system. So every ride you take, you get a point. Um, And every time they play a game, you get a point or something like that. So... Um, so it's a, basically you get about an extra hundred dollars a month, which isn't bad. So, and it's if extra it, income. yeah. And if it increases your tips cause people are having fun, um, that'd be great. So drivers are paid using a point system. They receive one point for a ride and a half a point for every game played. So in one ride, if someone plays 10 games, you get six points. So at 250 points. So hope you get a toddler, right? Somebody's got a nose whistle on this team. I think it's Jesper. Uh, at 250 points, you can get $25 through our InstaPay system. Most of our top drivers make between $75 and $100 a month. But there is no limit. But again, it, it, it averages about. I mean, what's better than free, you know? Yeah, I mean, they give you everything. And you do have to maintain, I think it's 100 rides per month. You're screwed. But um, <laughs> Hey, this month I'm going to hit it. <laughs> Which is not that much. I mean, even at a part-time driver. I mean, if you drive... Uh, 15 rides on Friday, 15 rides, so 30. That's a lot. What's three times four? This, uh, yeah. No, it's not that much. Well, when you're sitting at the airport. Well, I like my airport. Okay, well, you're, you're, not, away. you're not getting a tablet. So, <laughs> But anyways, yeah, check that out. Uh, I think Ben will post the link, and uh, I'm sure we have a winner for. All right, our first winner is Nate Hendricks. Nate, you won a $25 gift card. Congratulations. Yeah, Yo, yeah, we Nate. didn't talk about that. Uh, yeah, you have to be on the live stream, and then you have to send us a message uh, via um, Facebook Messenger is probably the easiest. Yep. 
So Nate, 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 Nate. We didn't have anybody on YouTube comment. Really? Nope, nope no. nobody. Come on, Paula. Jeez. That sucks. Cece's on. All right. It's only five watches on YouTube. That's all right. It's better than none. Better than none. So, yeah, uh, go to Octopus, sign up. Obviously, if it's not in your area, you can't get it, but you you get everything signed up, get everything ready to go as soon as it comes in your area. They're launching soon this year. It looks like 10 or 15 cities. So nice. I did see Detroit on there. So I know a lot of people listen to the podcast in Detroit. So Orlando, some smaller markets. They just lost launched in Austin, uh, which is a mid mid market like yeah, us. Exactly but like Grand but they're a huge tech community. So I'm guessing there was some advertising push down there to to get that. I guess I didn't know Austin was that, but someone told me that's a big tech community down there. So all right, okay. Uh, let's see what. Do, okay. <laughs> So we have our first gift from GR Rideshare Adventures. It's brought to you by Jesper. And Ben, that is on XSplit. Um, and uh, before you hit it, did you hit it already? Okay. Why don't you tell us a little story about that, and then we'll show it. <laughs> so I actually, um, I, I guess I talked a little bit about this ride a couple of weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I dropped a, a bunch of passengers off out in, in Grand Valley, and as... As the last girl leaves my car, she happens to trip, fall, something over the seat. And it is quite funny on the video because one moment her head is up next to me and the other one moment it is like where down oh. <laughs> as she's walking walking out the car. <laughs> she's like this. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You should see it. <laughs> is that your intro to it? Sure. All right. Go ahead, Ben. When You can play it. I mean, it's just going to keep playing. We can just keep it up there for like 15 seconds. Okay. All right. Let's. <laughs> it, yeah, be a ch- you chuckle. I think that's the first time he saw it. <laughs> you didn't get to see it, did you? No. Oh. You can't. No, you have that set up. You can you flip your computer around to show him. <laughs> oh. Yep, head over your heels. Yeah. Was she wearing pants or a dress? Oh, well, <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, no, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it looked whoa. like, it looked like there She's was... wearing pants. Okay. <laughs> Sorry Maybe... to disappoint you. But... No, not like that. It just it looked like how she moved. Maybe it was a lady, and I was like, whoa, was she in a dress? <laughs> like, you know, oh, you know. that was funny. So that's our first gift. We'll po- we'll share that around, but that was pretty funny. So we need a we need a a good title for that one, guys. Yeah, and she what? She didn't even seem that drunk. I think she oh, just no, missed that. She, she just fell. Yeah, yeah, she just fell. She wasn't drunk. That's hilarious. And then she dropped her phone in my car. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> is that the one where she dropped it and you had to return it? Yeah. The, the next. Oh, thing. you drop your phone too if you your feet were up in the air. Like, <laughs> well, but the the fun part was as she left, I was like, make sure you check and make sure you have everything. And she, oh yeah, I got it. And then she took off, and then she it was still in my car. Well, what you can't see on the gift because there's no audio. Jesper laughed at her really hard and said, "You're <laughs> dumb." Oh, no, I he did didn't. Not. He didn't. He's like, "Oh my gosh, are you okay?" <laughs> maybe yeah, we'll thanks, share, Jason. Maybe we'll share the the actual video of that, yeah. but. <laughs> All right, let's jump into rideshare in the news for a couple minutes before we give our next giveaway. Uh, Winter Beer Fest is this weekend. Uh, obviously, people that listen to this audio, well, it'll be too late for you. But if you're on the live stream, sorry, well, yeah, <laughs> sorry about your look. <laughs> so, Winter Beer Fest, uh, what is it? It's the biggest beer festival I would say in Mich- probably in the Midwest. Yeah, I mean they have I breweries so. come over from all over the place. Mm-hmm. Well, their breweries, they're all Michigan-based breweries, and they have people from all over the U.S. that come. Oh, they're all Michigan-based? They're all Michigan-based Oh, breweries. I thought they were, like, so, Midwest. No, anywhere okay. in the state of Michigan, upper uh, UP, the lower. But you'll get people from other breweries that come just for that reason. Oh, that... like like maybe from Wisconsin, they yes, want to check right. out. They want to oh, check okay. It out. Yeah, that makes sense. But I had a people from California last year I picked okay. up, and... Yeah. Okay. I heard earlier that last year there was ten thousand people there. Last year though, 
it didn't it get- no it got delayed one weekend so there's probably less than ten thousand. Yeah, maybe it- they sold 10 but remember they yeah, canceled yeah. it because of the flood. flood and then there was so many people that were mad it's because so they already <laughs> booked. i mean but what are you gonna do i yeah. mean they had they made the right call yeah mm-hmm. i think i mean how, how oh, yeah. can you have a festival like that well i like that all the the like breweries they did a deal like if they brought yeah. in their tickets they still right they got knock some money off, off you know beer so i'd be interested i i haven't seen uh the map of the layout but i wonder if they're gonna move it further uh so it was like right next to the river before in the first parking lot yeah. in the first parking yeah. lot but yeah. i wonder if they're like oh let's move it further back away just in case that happens again i don't know. i don't think there's room if they move it further back i don't I think know that's a smaller parking lot over there really yeah, yeah it might be what I like about it is that they actually seem to have their crap together when they come oh, to the ride chair. It's in, awesome. In, in and out. Yeah. In and out. There's two lanes. People are, I mean, yep. you, you don't feel pressured. You can pull off to the side and wait for somebody. But and then, they even have cops directing traffic. Too. Right. Yep. But there's a travel lane, so when you're ready to pull out, you're not waiting for seven cars to go. You just pull out and go. So um, one thing different this year, at least for people that are going, they are, do have a shuttle running 24, well, not 24 hours, but back-to-back during certain times. And then they do also have an Uber code. I don't have the code for you. You have to go to the hotel. Um, it's a twenty dollar. It's a twenty dollar Uber code. I mean, pff, with that new flat surge, it should be no problem. Like yeah. they should be well under that. So, nope. uh, what are you laughing at? Well, so Drew on Facebook have have the the name for the gift. It's the emergency exit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, um, I. I tell you, this is it used. I mean, this is a good weekend. This is almost like New Year's Eve. Um, I think. <clears throat> well, we'll see with the new surge. Yeah, I mean, we will. I mean, we're not. Gonna, I don't think we're going to see hundred dollar trips anymore. I mean, yeah, because last year I got super lucky and had two, you know, yeah. hundred plus dollar trips. It's but... gotten a little less each year because I think just as the market gets saturated, like my New Year's Eve wasn't as good as you weren't even in our uh, little Telegram chat last year during it. Were you in our Telegram chat during the B93 birthday bash, how we hated life, and oh, we just left because it was, it was just, just a horrible. flop? <laughs> the pickup was horrible, and the surge was non-existent. Do you I remember that? I was in the parking lot for 45 minutes. I know. We kept waiting for the surge to build, and finally, I'm like, I'm going to the airport. I think I literally went to the airport, and I'm like- I think I only had like two drop-offs. I didn't have any pickups from there. Okay. Yeah. but Because it wasn't busy. I didn't stick around there. Do you remember- Oh, for the birthday bash? Do you remember Beer Fest last year? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so it's, what are the times? I should know that. I should have highlighted it. Oh, Friday, 5 to 9, 10 o'clock. I know what time it is now, Ben. <laughs> Did you hear him just Why say 10 o'clock? <laughs> he's not even paying attention. No, he's just r- giving random numbers. <laughs> Friday, 5 to 9. Saturday, 1 to 6. I think there's some enthusiast hours on Saturday. Yeah, didn't, didn't that start at like 10 or 11 a.m.? Yeah, it was like an hour or two before. Correctly. Yeah, I don't know if they have them on Friday, but... No. No enthusiast hours on no, Friday? It's the first, so... Uh, I'm not going to give my strategy, but... Yeah. It'll nope. be busy. <laughs> so. All right. So real quick before you move on, there was a question on um, Facebook. I'm going to answer that real quick. Uh, Tom Liston is asking, how does one get on your Telegram? So we do have a public Telegram group. Uh, there is a blog written about it. Um, I can get it out, get it for him. Yeah. So ba- we'll post a link to it. But basically, it's a um, it's a public group uh, for for anybody, I guess, who listens to us or want to talk. I mean, the majority is Grand Rapids based yep, drivers, but, but we do they, have national drivers as well. So, yeah. trying to find the link here, and it's always great to welcome new people in there. And it's very talkative. You got too. the link? Yep. All right, Ben's got it. What's it's very that? talkative in that. Yeah, group. it is. Um, there's people that I don't know where they're from. There's like seven Johns on there. <laughs> <and I'm> like, <laughs> I don't know which is who and who is which and whatever, but and where they're from and where they're from. I know one John's from North Carolina. And Larry's from Bowling Green. Yep. Um, I don't think we have a John Doe yet, though. A John Doe? Let's hope not. <laughs> we don't have a John Doe. Then we got bigger problems. All right, Ben shared that oh, link. Paula's on. Hey, Paula. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Paula's on. You got that smile on. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I was wondering guys. why you were like smiling over there. And you're did like, did you oh, notice he leaned Yeah, back. he did. He, he was like, Paula's on. Hey. <laughs> 
Oh, I shouldn't even have done this. Okay. Oh, yeah, we would have ne- we would have never known because you were watching YouTube. I'm no, we, we would. He would have been like. Yeah, and we'd ask him a question. He's like, "Huh, Paula? Deer in headlights?" I think the when he met when he was talking to Paula the first time, it was a giveaway yep. when you guys was reached a thousand subscribers. And I chatted with her a little bit maybe a week ago. Uber uh is it Dave the Uber slave was yeah. live streaming and I happened to be on so she was on too so we chatted. She still wants to connect with us and uh do a a Skype in. Well, so. you know who to talk to, yes sir. No, he's not the tech guy. No, he's I'm just not. our web guy. <laughs> <laughs> um all right, it's 1002. Uh let's see. Next question for the giveaway is does um Jesper love Paula is is Jesper is is Paula Jesper's internet girlfriend on YouTube sometimes um <laughs> he's giving you the are devil you, I'm you, I'm trying to work here <laughs> where where did I put those damn How many questions? times oh. have you used Uber or Lyft as a passenger is Thank that you. what you're going with Yeah that's okay. yeah. that's the question uh put in the in the comments how many times have you used Uber or Lyft as a passenger um zero really anyways hold on i'll get to that you can't win the car what are you talking about put that in the I comments and the next gift card next couple minutes um we will uh chat about that oh she gave you hearts <laughs> <laughs> moving right along <laughs> um you've never taken uber or lyft as a passenger nope how can you be a, re- a driver then? I mean, yeah, no, I on. don't do it regularly, but I know how the app functions so- somewhat. Although when when people ask me how do you cancel, I'm like that would involve actually going out and drinking. And I yeah, just when's the that. last time you and Nicole have like gone out out? No, Great Does, Wolf Lodge. Well, Does that's that with the kids. <laughs> like, I mean, away from kids. He stays at home and drinks and plays Halo. Halo. Halo Reach. Oh my god. Oh my. I'm like, what are you doing? Get to work. And he's like, I'm playing Halo. I don't even know what that is. I'm half or I'm double his age, so that might help. All right, my, yeah. Okay, next one. Um, can you possibly put that up there? This next link with that had all those pictures on there, just for Gabe. Um, and and then I have a couple of pictures on XSplit. If you're gonna share, I can watch it too. No, I got it. Sorry. Right. So this one is unusual Uber and taxi rides that end up being very memor- mem- memorable. 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 Mem- so I post uh, Ben will post a couple of them that I found, but um, they're just funny little stories about pictures of different people that their Uber driver. Um, oh wow! One of them. Let's see. One of them I shared was. Go down to that taxi one. I don't know why I didn't share this one. I didn't have enough time. Ben, can you scroll down? Keep going. That one's dumb. Keep going. Keep going. This guy, no one cares about him. Oh, this guy. Whoa, whoa, right there. This guy's on a calendar. I should have shared it with the... I don't know why. <laughs> I should have put this one on XSplit. I don't know why I did, but yeah. Uh, this guy is on... like He's on a New York City taxi driver calendar. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, this one was kind of cute. This was a uh, um customer spotted. This one's on XSplit. A customer spotted this adorable note hanging from a cab driver steering wheel. It says, "Dear Daddy, thank you for working so hard for us. I love you a lot. Love Resi or something like that." So that was cute. Um, Halloween one. That's weird. Those guys are fat. <laughs> I don't know this guy. That one's dumb. Oh, this one. Best driver in Bangkok. <laughs> Look, this this says, uh, f- I don't know what it says. Free something for, oh, free rides for nuns, free rides for elder elderly people over seventy five, pregnant women over five months. <laughs> but if you're under five months, you're paying. <laughs> Handicapped people, blind people, people who has cancer, paralyzed people, and veterans. I thought that was interesting. Free snack and feel free to take a selfie with the accessories. The only one in Thailand. Oh, that one's ridiculous. The, the one with all the snacks and candy. Yes, and I, I I did post that one on, on Exploit. Yeah, that one is is ridiculous. They're so... I mean, that's cargo on crack, really. <laughs> How can that even be comfortable as a passenger? Some guy had an NES hooked up. 
See, I'm thinking about doing that. You've been thinking about that for two years, and you haven't done it yet. I know. It's not happening. It's there, not there happening. is a driver in the Grand Rapids market as a gaming system. Yeah, up. I've heard that, too. Yeah, yeah the ginger. <laughs> that was really loud in the mic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. I didn't have a monster, in my, a monster liquid in my mouth. This lady gives out peaches. So it's kind of funny. Did we get the links posted? Well, Ben's doing Facebook Uber's, Uber. Jesper's doing YouTube. All right. That's just kind of a fun story. You know, it's fun to kind of laugh a little bit because sometimes it's like all the stories we have some is like, in Arizona, Uber and Lyft drivers are on crack or their passengers are. All right, Ben, can you show this picture? This is the New York City rate one. I know it's a little small. So New York City, we talked about it last. Uh, uh, I got your telegram, Ben. We talked about it last podcast about them going to the minimum wage. So the new rates is ridiculous with their new minimum wage and stuff. So a rider that normally would pay sixty six dollars will now pay one hundred twenty five. Yeah. Uh, for Juno, that was Uber Lyft for Juno fifty nine to one fourteen, and then the Yellow Cab is the new rule doesn't apply to Yellow Cab, and they pay the Yellow Cab pays sixty eight. So literally, what they're doing. It's going to push Uber and Lyft out. I know that's why they filed lawsuits. Yeah. Why would you take an Uber and Lyft for 125 when you can take a cab for 68? So it's the dumbest thing I ever heard. All these drivers are like, "Yay, we make minimum wage." Well, not if you don't have rides. Right. So I don't know. And in New York, taxis are like a dime a dozen. So well, that's but it it just it just exactly shows that the taxi union got what they wanted because now you know all the drivers wanted this minimum. But if you don't have the rides, I don't know. I'd be interested to see in a year if, if that's still going on. They both filed lawsuits. So, well, we have one quick question more from YouTube this time. Flowmaster would like to know what is our rating. So, what is your rating, Jason? I am a four point nine nine on Lyft and a four point nine three on Uber. Okay, I'm a four point nine two on Uber. What about Lyft? Moving right. So along. mean. <laughs> so mean. Oh, that's an answer. Uh, Uber, I'm 4.92, and on Lyft, I'm 4.96. On Lyft, I'm a 5.0 now. Um, and on oh, he, Uber. You know what? You're done. Get out of here. <laughs> Pull and up on your Uber, dashboard. I'm a 4.96. Oh, that's really good. That's really yeah, good. And I'm what almost, a, I think I'm at like 10,000 rides combined. Until now. Winter Beer Fest happens, and you're going to go down a couple points. Right, right. So what about Producer Ben? 4.92 Four seven eight on Lyft. Oh, <laughs> okay. Four nine nine. No, four eight nine. Oh, okay. All right. B- before we move on, we're going to jump into our next winner, and the next winner is CC. CC. What you buying me, CC? Oh, you know what, Drew? Drew made a good point. Our audio cuts out completely when we show those pictures. I never added the. Uh, I never added the mics. So oh no! It's my bad. Sorry. Did you see that? No, it's false. Thank you, Drew. Yep, CC, you won. Sorry, Drew. I uh, <laughs> I uh, forgot to add the audio in each of those pictures. So my bad. My bad. So, um, so anyways, did anyone hear any of me talking about the New York? Then <laughs> was it uh, the picture? Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, CC message, uh, Facebook message Ben, and uh, give him his, your email address. So, um, okay, what? good job, CC, good job. All right, <laughs> next up. Um, so, this is a story. I'm going to click on it, but um, we don't have a video for this one. And Jesper and Ben will post a link. So, it's basically a ride sharing bill that um, was going to add money to each ride share uh, passenger. As a like a surcharge for um, for DUIs, basically to what was it? I'm being an idiot. Uh, would cost would have been twenty percent extra. On, oh, on surge price! Holy crap! Yeah, that's quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the story? I did read it, <laughs> sort of. Uh, <laughs> you can hear me struggling. I didn't know it was. Yeah, you know I didn't when I went twenty <laughs> percent. I thought it was like a dollar fifty. Like, damn. That's really high. Um, what were they going to use it for? <laughs> I know I did read it. <laughs> I don't know. They were going to use it for like DUIs or something. I don't know. DUI fun program. Fun, fun programs yep. to end drinking and driving. Because they lost all that money from the DUIs. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, but this was in an- that article. Did it state that taxis aren't having to pay that? 
you know, I think I saw that they didn't. It's possible. Um, probably not. I mean, it's it's a rideshare bill. I mean, it's not considered rideshare if you're a taxi. But they they stopped. They pulled it. Oh, they the, already. Yeah, the one that wrote it pulled it. He got so much hate or something. So, and that was just in Oklahoma. So, idiot. Um. So what do we got next? Oh, this one's funny. Some of these in here aren't, aren't right here related. Well, kind of is. But NYPD asked Google to remove DUI checkpoints on Waze. Um, I I don't know if uh, that's going to happen. <laughs> um, so Waze is great. I don't know if you guys have ever. I mean, if Waze is amazing, it's amazing. Who who? Yes, for was it Jesper that hated on it so much, yep. but uses it now? I don't. Is that you? I don't like it. But you jump back on. You got on the bandwagon, didn't you? Fifty fifty. I don't. I use used it. it once. I don't use it. Anymore. I don't like Dirty. the cartoonish look of it. No. See, yeah. it just makes me feel like an eight year old boy. I I can't. <laughs> Did you say idiot boy? <laughs> no, eight year old. Oh, Danish use, mumble mouth. Mumble I mouth. Say I use Google because I do the the satellite view. So I can see houses and driveways where I know where to go. I think if you got used to that, I I, un, I understand that that would be beneficial. But when you go from the, according to him, the eight year old screen to the <laughs> satellite, it really messes with you until you get used to it. So you do satellite the whole time, or do you like switch over to it when you? Uh... I switch over to it. You can't do it on Lyft. Uh, you can do it on Uber though. Oh. And once you switch over to it, if you keep maps open, Google Maps, it just stays on there. Oh, okay. I actually think Uber's uh, built-in now is pretty good. I just use that one. Wow. It's just so we do have two more questions, real quick, from from YouTube. Uh, I know I'm kind of breaking it. No, out, that's but, fine. But Flowmaster is again asking, uh, and I honestly I don't know because I have not. But he's asking should we opt in for the Uber's built-in insurance, the additional insurance that comes when you have a ride. Oh yeah, that, that I have extra. That. But what does it do on top of what? It's what? A, it's just disability insurance. It's, it has nothing to do with the car. Okay, so, it's just disability insurance. And what does it do? It gives um, if you get hurt. It gives you, it gives you a certain amount per week. Um, yeah, it's basically like disability you could get at your forty hour week yeah. job. Um, if you get or hurt, if you die, it gives your family well, money too. Yeah, it's some sort of insurance. It has nothing to do with the car or anything. It's okay. just like a disability if you break your leg or. Okay, so uh, for people who also don't know about the insurance, uh, last podcast two weeks ago we actually had uh, Amy on. Jamie. Jamie, sorry, Jamie. I don't know why I say Amy. Jamie on, who is a local driver in this market, Grand Rapids market, who got her car totaled um, while she was in period two. So that was an interesting story, um, and and we are going to be here in the next few weeks. We're going to be posting a blog item talking to a. Um, to a owner of a body shop who is dealing with the other side of a couple of uh, of um, having to deal with Uber's uh, Uber Lyft's insurance companies from that p- particular point of view. So, so it'll be interesting to kind of see what that kind of um, is on that one. So, whether or not Flowmaster, whether or not you want to have uh, that um, that additional insurance, yeah, it's, 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 it's what is to, it like a penny more a ride or, or no? It goes based on the mileage. mileage. Yep. Oh, it's mileage on that ride. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I can look at my previous trip history and let you know how much. It so this guy, out. the disability insurance, which he'll probably never use, get ha- spends money on that, but doesn't have the the, the rider. ride rider for his so, car insurance. So he commits uh, insurance fraud every day, every day, every day. Uh, but he does have that. But he, so just in case good. he stubs his toe playing Halo, <laughs> he can collect some disability. <laughs> I, I think though it's it's only. It's only while you're driving. Is it right. only while you're driving? Yeah, yeah. it's only so. But, but it, why wouldn't the car insurance cover that? Because if you get hurt in a car insurance, well, although they don't cover your wages, they don't cover that, your wages. That's, exactly. that's a big a part. Wages, okay, yeah. okay, maybe you're right. Yeah. Now, now Jamie's insurance, her ride share insurance covered um, uh, lost wages, so that was kind of mm, no. I think well, she's suing. Com- for, she's suing for that. No, her insurance company covered uh, lost wages. She said that. Yeah, she Uh-oh. was getting like eighty percent of what she Jamie, was going to make. If you're on, let me know. And then uh, Paul, Paula um, is stating that she – so she's also signed up for a new service that is called – what was that called? Paula. It's not Trip. I know. I, no, 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 no. I, it's a different one. But but the interesting part of it was she's actually now fingerprinted to drive minors around in all prearranged trips. Whoa. So, so that's all the new service is – that's what that's doing. Oh, so it's just minors? 
Yeah, so oh, well, it's okay. it's it part, partly does a hop, skip, drive. Uber, uh, Paula is calling it. So I don't, I've never heard of it. Um, I remember reading an article yeah. on it okay. a while back, but never and heard it. Is it through sense. Uber? No, no, no. So it's through Hop, Skip, Drive. Apparently, it's it's a it's a service that's active in LA in her market, um, and and supposedly uh, one of the things that they oh it's been out since 2016, but one of the things that they do is they you know have ability to to drive minors. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I think that's something we will be. Um, Interesting to talk about in, in the near future. So yeah, yeah. I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know if you I'd know, want to drive miners around. I, I had one this morning where I got a, a lift. I got a text, and she was like, "You're going to be taking my kid," and I'm like, "Oh Hold no!" On, I'm lady. like, <laughs> so I texted back real quick, you know, voice the text because I was on my way almost there, and I was like, "We're not allowed to have anyone 18 years of age or you know or, or 17 and under by themselves. They have to be accompanied by somebody who's 18." And she was like, "Oh." Um, I can have them wake their older sister, and I was just saying, I was like, oh, I wasn't looking for Cancel. that response, and I was like, okay, she's like, it might take a couple minutes because they have to get her up, and I go, okay, best ride ever, two stops, we dropped one off at the elementary, and then one off at the middle school, brought the daughter back, dropped her off, and I got a tip out of it. Right, nice because at you- York Creek too. Right, well, there you go. <laughs> That's Amy's favorite place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's everyone's. So that that happened to you too, right? One time there was you said that that uh, yeah, that was about a couple weeks ago. The yeah. mom rode with the kid, and I yeah. was shocked. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I had one this morning while I was driving. Um, she looked younger, and I said, "I'm sorry, I can only take uh, I can't take mine." She goes, "I'm 19." I said, "Okay." She goes, "Do you want to see my ID?" I go, "No, nope, I trust you." I mean, she went out of her way to tell me she was 19. Right. So I was like, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have them pull out their ID. Right. I trusted them. I did my due diligence, you know. Right. So, but that's the you know tip for that thing is to go in and 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 you know ask if they have if there's an ability for somebody over 18 to join them on the ride. Well, yeah, because if you cancel right away, you're losing the revenue. I mean, you get the five bucks or three yeah. whatever from. So you're still going to be you, waiting five minutes to get that money. True, Correct. but yeah, I mean, so you can tell some some parents are are willing to work with you and something like yours and your yeah. case, but some are just like whatever. I mean, I had all was disorder. It, another was it this one. morning I was at the hotel and she came out with a kid. Yeah. Was that this morning or yesterday morning? Yesterday I, I know morning, it all about? runs together. <laughs> but yeah, two year old kid, no booster C. She's like, really? Am I gonna have to pay for this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I drove off. <laughs> or what's the other one? It's I'll still, just order another one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I but, mean, that's on them. I don't care. But, I did what I was supposed to do. But again, let's just use this moment to just kind of to hug. Peep, no, pe- people, drivers, to talk about Paula. Ple- please, no, shut up. You, okay, I'm trying to be serious here. Okay, driver, ahead. drivers, do not accept rides without car seats because you are truly part of the problem. I'm sorry, but you are. It, there's so many people who want to get in the car and apparently don't care enough about their children to just do it. And, and and you know, I read somebody who said, well, how do they get there? They got there by some other driver taking them there. Don't do it. It's just not worth it. Do you think, though, it doesn't matter. You can talk to your blue in the face. People are still going to do it. So we've been talking about this for forever. But yeah. it's just, I know. People are gonna. You gotta try. No, I, I agree. I appreciate you saying that. You I do have that, to try. I had that one that I, she wanted to ride, and she had four kids. Right. <laughs> and like two of them were to my kneecaps, and maybe the other two were like mid thigh tall. And I was just and like, "You're short too." Shut up. <laughs> so you know they were like <laughs> six months. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to go back to Cece. She says she hates ways. Can we redact that gift card win for her, <laughs> yes. please? Yep. And Jamie did say that uh, her wages were covered at eighty five percent. So you are right, Jesper. Um, Can I get done writing? Can I? <laughs> no. Well, he, you got it publicly that he just said you were right. Right. There you go. It's recorded. Uh, Justin true. says he gets so happy when I see a car. See, I'm, I do too. I'm like, oh damn, you're a good parent. Mm-hmm. I I th- I think to girl the other oh, day. I would too. Because I was like, thank you. And she goes, why do drivers keep thanking me? And I'm like, <laughs> trust me, you don't know. I just remembered a story. I don't know if it was the last two weeks. So I get an XL. I message them because I remember talking to the group about it. Yeah. And I, you're not going to believe what she did. So she said she had car seats, right? Okay. She gets in. She throws one of them in the back seat, the car seat. 
and just lets the kids climb back there. And then the booster seat, the kid didn't sit in. I took him. I mean, what am I going to do at that point? She has the car seats. If she's not going to install them, I mean, by the time I figured it out, we were rolling, we were rolling down the road. I said, y'all set? Right. I'm just like, of course, I had one starter and emailed Lyft, so I wouldn't get paired up with them again. But you you literally texted me you had car seats, but you weren't going to put them in. I mean, do I care that you're just going to throw them in the back? I don't know. I probably shouldn't have took them. I know. See, I still do stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll see if you get I got paired a bonus up with to them hit. or got. So, not. yeah. After yeah. Peter got, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He got well, connected if, with that if he guy. Created a different he didn't. Account. I think it was the same one. It really? Yeah, he called them and they told him it was a glitch. They were sorry. Well, clearly, you guys have all run into that guy. A lot of people. You I've have. never had problems with him. Ben's ben, run into him. But ben knows him well on a different level say. than Ride Share. Yeah, yeah, right. But, anyways. So, your story actually reminded me of a story that happened to me. This was New Year's last. So, not obviously this this New Year's Year, but the one before. And it was just my quarter to one, something like that. And I pull in to a, to a private residency and pick up a family of um, with two children. And, and, they had car seats and everything, and and the one they have trained, they had trained their, their boy. He was probably five, but he had his own booster seat in his hand. He climbed in the back, got the booster to sit down, set it all right, sat in and got the seat on. It was and all like well trained for that, and it was like super nice. It was, yeah, like like you're supposed to do, right? Yeah. Exactly <laughs> like what you're supposed to do. But it's like they just had it together, right? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Now that my kids are out of booster seats, it's the best thing ever because no. it is kind of a pain in the ass, but. It's it telling me. I mean, yeah, you got a while yet. <laughs> I had a lady that had those foldable ones that you get at Target. Oh yeah, their booster seats. Yeah, they probably they probably slip right into a a bag or something, so it's easy to carry around. In your pocket, that's how they advertise them. Really? In your back how can pocket, that be secure. Like how can I? I asked her because she came out. and I was like, "Do you have?" She's like, "Yeah, we have to go to my garage." I was at York Creek, so we go there, and she like walks to the car with these things that are probably like, and I'm like. What if we started as as a group, started videotaping that interaction with a mom that doesn't have the car seat? Like maybe you turn the dash cam to the outside or something. Maybe the audio part we we maybe not we don't show the video, but the audio and just start having conversations with these people. Mm. I mean, and say why why do you try to do this? I mean, don't you care for your kid? I mean, not trying to start a fight, but I'm like I'm just curious why you would. Why is it okay? Why would it be okay? You know what? I was I was reading a post somebody put about child seats, and there was a driver who said, what does it matter? And somebody said, you know, obviously that parent doesn't care about their child. She's like, don't say that because some of them just can't afford it. Well, I was talking to another <laughs> driver, and she was like, there are tons of programs out there right. that free. will g- help parents with, f- like, car seats and booster yep. seats. And I was like, you know, even there's a thing, a special for people, you know, Walmart – on Saturday, they're doing Baby Savings Day. Yeah, I saw and that. And everything's like discounted mm-hmm. car seats, booster right. seats. Well, so. And let's be, I mean, a booster seat is $15, yep. you know, at, at most. It's not the end of the world. That, that being said, though, at one point I rented a BMW and, and I was in Europe. How's Brayden Camp? Shut up. So I was in Europe and, and, and on, 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 on travel. <laughs> and it had a built in oh, booster right. seat. It was the coolest thing. <laughs> it was like a little handle underneath the seat. It's a popped up it was really cool nice so anyways yes yes Bragging camp. i'm five minutes behind on my giveaway <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so next question for the giveaway respond and you uber <laughs> and youtuber you did it again i did it again youtube or facebook have you ever been pinged by a friend or co coworker? did they recognize you right away i don't think yeah, my funniest one was a ex girlfriend's parents. That was extremely strange. What about the time I had your ex girlfriend in the back of my car? Yeah, I think there was. I thought there was two of them. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's a different story and podcast. <laughs> That's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny because I picked up this. Yeah, one but how did you know that? Because he was, I got the ride request, but I was like twenty five <laughs> minutes away, oh. and then I got it, and then he's like. I, I'm sure that's my ex girlfriend, and, and then it's like, was it? They got in the car, and, I, and they go, "Yeah, Nick says hello." He goes, "What are you talking about?" But was that the same parents from the girl that he picked up? No, oh no, no, no. no. There was a boy, girl. lots of girlfriends, huh? <laughs> it was high school. Oh, oh no. geez. So you're saying you got it wrong in high school? I sure did. <laughs> 
Uh, Still does. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh-oh. I would say Uh-oh. Nicole would. You got a side piece? I almost just said something. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a couple of friends that I've picked up. Have you? Through a ping, yeah. Where I'm just like, hey. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, I had a guy I used to work with the other night from the airport, but no friends. Yeah, well, you have I to have friends to pick up friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Uh, I picked up a couple of nurses that know my wife um, because there's 350 nurses on the floor, and she trains like new nurses, orientees, and she's like, I don't know the last one. I don't know how she made the connection. Oh, a lot of people ask what my wife does, and I tell them they're like. <gasps> It's Ma- you know, it's Megan, your your wife. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh my gosh, oh, you know, it was pretty annoying, but just like that too. <laughs> you do it so well. Like, I know, I know. Gabe's looking at me like, shut the hell up, dude. Oh my goodness. I've I've taken you a couple of times. What's that? Oh yeah, you and Megan. Yeah, yeah. Did you get him the other night when he was crying to me about picking him up because he didn't walk oh, two blocks? It was cold. <laughs> I had to park. I parked. On uh, so it would be what west of the Bob that ramp right next to the Bob across the street that ramp and I had to walk to Luna, you know where Luna is on Ionia. Well, yeah, of course I know. That's nothing. It was cold. Oh my god! I didn't have a coat on. I was like those ramp. girls that wear skirts. And he was on the. I can replay it. Luna's nice though. I think oh, you good. you told me about I Luna. Know. We've been there twice. It's amazing. Yeah. So you're making me look bad. You know that, right? Why? Because you apparently go out your, with your wife a lot. I'm not talking well, about that. hey, I love her. <laughs> what are you? What, what are you hey, <laughs> what's just your saying? Point? Just saying. Uh, <laughs> I saw your message, Ben. You pick. I. <laughs> is that all we had on? Like, <laughs> I. Four responses. Four responses. Mute the mics. So the winner tonight is for the next. Is this the third one? Yeah. Yeah. Is Larry. Larry, you won again, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to up- upgrade your uh your patron account yep. to ten dollars a month. <laughs> Be nice. We have, what? nice. we have Nate, CC, and Larry now. Yeah. yeah. But Larry won last time we did a giveaway. Nice. <laughs> this is rigged. No, yeah, <laughs> right. Um let's see. So Larry, you won. What does CC says seriously? I don't know if she's talking to Justin or Drew oh probably or, or Larry or um who knows all right let's see do we have anyone new on tonight is Drew new I feel like he's been on before there was some woman earlier but she kind of I don't know if she dropped out or not I don't know we if have she, a who? Serena Rosenfeld I don't know who that is I don't know who that is either where's freaking Elsie did you reach out to her and tell her we were going to talk about her yeah I did. She's probably working. Um, okay, let's get back into the news. I don't know what the hell we were talking about. Lucky Larry. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. The So basically, yeah, let's go back to the NYPD. They basically said it's criminal conduct, what what Waze is doing, um, and that, that posting of such information for public consumption is irresponsible since it only serves to aid an impaired intoxicated drivers who invade checkpoints. Encourage reckless driving. Revealing the location of checkpoints puts those drivers, their passengers, and the general public at li- at risk. I think they just were pissed off about the red light cameras because those are on there too. We don't have those in Grand Rapids, but knock th- on wood, knock on wood. Yeah, um, I think it's funny. I I'd like to see the follow up. I hope Waze tells them to f off. So that's just my opinion. God, it just got real quiet. Did I offend somebody? Always. All right. We're going to talk about what the hell did I just do? We're going to talk about the new surge. Uh, ben. Um, Carrie Ann Wood is from New Hampshire. She says hi. Yeah, we got a new- oh, New Hampshire. Awesome. awesome. So that Twitter link, can you post that so people can follow along? Um, ben. Okay. So this guy's name is. Uh, oh, it's Erica Betts. I thought it was Eric Betts. It's a girl? So oh, gosh. Restart. Restart. Ooh, I followed her, too. <laughs> My bad, Erica. My bad. I read it as Eric. I don't know why. So she, she has some pretty good tips, and I'm just going to go with them real quick about this penny surge. I'm not saying she's the expert. She doesn't have a ton of flo- f- 
God, I am struggling tonight. Followers. Oh, I got to tell my Amazon Flex story. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> uh, I didn't forget. Don't worry. Uh, all right. Um, her little, uh, her, her Twitter little profile says, part-time Uber driver, not your bitch. <laughs> Talking shit on the internet and roasting riders. That's what it says. Oh, so, I should subscribe to that. Yeah, I don't know if she does videos or just tweets on it, but... Okay, number one, your most profitable trips will be short ones. Pretty obvious. Yeah. The long surge rides are gone. Um, I have seen some people post adjustments. some adjustments, yep. mm -hmm. but I mean, they're not like $30 adjustments. They're no. like 10 bucks. Yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing. So um, he says basically just give up on, she says, give up on the long trips. Number two, long trips do not multiply. Do not listen to the grapevine on this one. The only time Uber will ever increase uh, your surge on a long trip is if your default earnings are too low. At this point, Uber will simply adjust will simply adjust your earnings to reflect roughly fifty percent of the fare. It does. I've been looking at the long ones where they do the adjustment. It's about fifty percent. Is it? Okay. From what the rider pays to what you make. Okay. The la last one I had out to GBSU was actually more. It was more like sixty five. Yeah. So. With a flat surge. Yeah, they, oh, okay. they added to added the, the the addition they added to it. Yeah, but let's add this disclaimer where it says stay away from long rides. You don't know if you're going to get a long ride, so how can you stay well, away from something you don't know? Well, he's basically they're basically saying, well, anyone is saying that you just can't just cancel them. I mean, which would be well, stupid. I mean, you want a long ride anyways. I mean, within reason. But I mean, I still end up making almost forty dollars on the ride out to Grand Alley, so I don't know why I would not do it. It was an XL. It should have been a hundred dollar ride. No, because it was only a one point nine surge. Oh, it was okay. it was it was a it was a it was a three fifty minimum, you know, as a new flat surge last weekend. So I really don't think it was that bad. It wasn't forty, it was thirty five, yeah, something like that. But I really think I don't think it was that bad. No, because well, you probably would make about forty on the regular. On an XL. Yeah. Well no. On a on a non non surge XL is thirty. From downtown to GBSU. Gotcha. She okay. uses a, she uses an example as if you take a ten x ten x I don't know ten x is it ten dollar x trip and the rider is paying two hundred. I, mean, I think she means ten times. But anyways, the rider is paying two hundred. Uber is likely to adjust your surge and overall earnings to about a hundred dollars. So, I guess we'll see for the I, the Michigan the, Beer Fest yeah, because no. there's people that go to like Cadillac. Yeah. Or you know, you got a Cadillac ride. No, somebody in your den. Number three, Uber will punish you for collecting a surge. Uber promises the guarantee that the highest surge you drive through will be applied to your next trip no matter what, even if the surge goes away. That sounds good in theory, but don't be quick to think that Uber will just send you free surge trips without sending those requests to every other possible driver who doesn't have a reserve surge first. So basically, she's saying that you're probably not going to get that, and some other driver is going to get that ride without the surge. You know what I mean? They're going to try to send it to somebody else before they send it to you that has the extra five bucks or whatever because you drove through it. That's what she's saying. I mean, it's but tough, on, to, tough busy, to prove. On busy nights, though, you're you're back to back. Right, right. I mean, hey, I I'm no, just going with what she said. I'm, I'm not, not saying she's I, right or wrong, I'm not, but I, I think I, it, it sounds plausible what she's saying. Absolutely, but if you're back to back, right, I mean, right. That being said, don't even think about chasing a surge, even if it's nearby, without confirming that it's a live surge in the rider app. Um, you know what? I've gotten though this past week, I've gotten surge the, you know, three dollar or three fifty, and there's no surge on the map. And, and you've gotten see, it, yeah. But that's bizarre. Yeah. I've, I've had that happen to me. My and I'm like, my, what? My app almost doesn't show the surge at all. And I'm like, what? And I'll close out, you know, because I have my tablet and then i have my phone so i'll close out of the one just so i can pull the map up to see and there's no surge in that area hmm. or in the area that i'm in so that's weird uh what else does she say um if you don't already start checking the rider app proactively you you will start seeing the rider app start surging long before uber alerts the drivers of the heat map which probably makes sense because it takes some. There's some like caves got skeptical eyes on. He's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't I, know I'm, Erica, but I don't trust. Her. I'm just reading it. All right. <laughs> hey, Ben sent the link, so don't look at. Me. <laughs> Why is the producer who can't talk? Right. So, um, that's basically what she says. Um, what else? Just some couple of things. It's hard to read this. It's all like tweets, and you only can do a certain amount. So there's like seven or eight different tweets. So it was kind of hard to read, but. 
So let's break down. Let's just talk about the the penny surge. I mean, what everyone lost their s um, when we were talking about it. But yeah. what do you now that you had time to kind of not not so so much test it out, but think about it a little more? Do you think it's you know what I was at first? I was I was angry because <laughs> I was like, man, this is why I drive during the times I do. Yeah, late night, right? Um, but. I think if you are a part-time driver and you only drive during the busy times when it is surging, it will affect you more than if you are a full-time driver and you spread out your time because instead of having those waves like mm-hmm. we do, it's kind of like this. Steady. It's steady. And I think maybe the other day I looked, I made more. I made like 45, no, hour and 45 minutes I was on. And I had like almost sixty dollars, so, and I was during the day. It wasn't like late morning when it was kind of. That's pretty down. good because typically that's really slow, right? So I think overall it averages out. Mm-hmm. Um, if you are one of those part time drivers who just drive during the bar crowd, and that's why you were driving sure. to get the extra cash, you're going to feel the impact because you're not going to be able to go on take two rides and make sixty dollars. But I mean, so last fr- last Friday when I drove. I, I if I make $140 on a Friday night, it's a good night. Right. I made $140. So it's like $135. And I but I only drove from 10:30 to 2. It's like you can't complain about that. Yeah. And that was that was during the penny search. Yeah. And so it evens out. It Yeah, I think I it, just, e- I, it evens out. I just think the selective days are over. Yeah, I think I think Nick's right. I think those yeah. big like New Year's Eve, like we got Irish on Ionia coming up. I think those big. Oh, I'm not sure I want to drive that. That's such a. Sh- yeah, it's a. It's going to be interesting to see after St. Patrick's Day what because we all know because we talked about it how good of a a day we had. You know, I think yeah. Cece was like, yeah, you know, on this day I made this much. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how much you actually make now with the new one. Do we know if they're going to bring in more cell towers this year? Because last year, I mean, when you get 10,000 people there, there's like no cell signal left. Yeah, on, I didn't on work. Iris, on Ionia. Yeah, I, like, I didn't work it the last couple of years, but. It has been nothing but a problem actually getting the after work. That's funny because I was Sprint. I had no issues last year. I didn't have any issues. Oh, it was Sprint. It was I mean, come on. Horrible. <laughs> It's probably because you had like an Android phone or yeah. something. But you know no, what? No, lots of people had issues. You know what, though? I think it's going to be good, though, because everyone's going to be downtown. It's going to be a lot of short rides. Well, yeah. Until I the mean, end of the night. That's true. So, I, uh, well, never mind. Won't even talk about it. I don't want people to take my strategy. Oh, no. Don't talk <laughs> strategy. But no, that makes sense. I mean, what I wanted to bring up about the new surge is everyone was freaking out about, oh, the surge is gone. The surge has been gone for a year. Like, when's the last Easily. time you have seen, like, amazing surges? Not- I mean, go back to New Year's Eve. It was a bust this year. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, 2017, 18 New Year's Eve, that was the last time why I, I mean, made a killing. I mean, but that was the night I saw seven time surges all night long. Yeah. When's the last time you saw a seven time surge? I mean, it's been on probably New Year's Eve. <laughs> right. Well, because we've had all those caps on it. Yeah, I mean, that was weird. It, it seemed to coincide with the, the state of emergency, but I wonder if Uber just did that anyways just to, because it was coming down the pipe. We, you know what? I was looking at it. You know how some people have posted their little maps with their surge, and they have like $10, $12, $3? <laughs> the highest I've seen is like, what, three seventy five. Yeah. And Grand Rapids is the highest you've seen, right? Yeah. Three seventy five. Yeah. three. Okay. But... You know, and those were nights where it was super busy downtown. So you're like, why are we only getting 375? Are we capped at that? I don't think so. Or is that just as high as? Oh, we'll gonna... find out this weekend. Yeah, I mean, so uh, flow uh, flowmaster has a comment again. So flowmaster, what what uh, um, market are you in? Because you say even concert searches are gone, and you're right. Concert searches in GR usually concert last, concert. Okay, yeah, they usually last very very uh, short. Well, so, uh, except with country, country, yeah. country for some reason, country people don't drink and drive. <laughs> yeah. Country music concert nights are like the busiest nights. They are for for music, that, rock concerts. One meh. time we had that one ride. <laughs> what Chris Stapleton? Yeah, go to YouTube. You can watch it. That night was amazing because they had Chris Stapleton and then they had Regina Spector sold out at Twenty Monroe. Okay, and so you literally 
I think at 4 a.m., 4.30, I was like, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. And it was still surging. Right. So. Yeah, the biggest country concert for me and where I had a 10.0, that was the biggest I ever had, was uh, the Faith Hill. uh, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. No, no, no. No, no, it was Gar- wh- whoever was, was here for Garth? four days. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Was that Garth Brooks? Garth I think it was Garth and Trisha okay. Yearwood. They were here for f- two. I thought three, two or three. Either was way, it? Way. Either way, one of those superstars were here, yeah. and it was an amazing weekend. And I got a ten point oh from uh, downtown to uh, um, Duncan Lake area, which is like into the next county, and that was the night I got my first puke or two before that ride. <laughs> So I got $150, I cleaned it up, it kind of smelled, and I went down back downtown and I got a 10.0. Wow. How much was that, Ryan? It was like 250 bucks, something like that. Oh. It was crazy. <laughs> it was so awesome, i would never see that again. So, um, Let's see. CC says she'd rather drive for Lyft to get my bonus. Amen. Um, the penny surge is why Jamie doesn't do UberX anymore. That's interesting. I mean, she only drives on the weekends. Um but I mean, I think it was either Ben or somebody had XL on last weekend. It was okay, but maybe the weekend before, and it was yeah. just like nothing. Like oh, I'm switching back both on. I mean, it was... yeah, I try. I mean, I would rather I would rather drive than sit still any any time of the week. Right. So so I I, I sometimes put my XL filter on and see how it goes. Right. Um, but I mean, you try you, and then you can you can sense it fairly quickly if it's going to work out. I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, and, and they were doing something weird too because that's when I had that Uber X. And her ride was, it was 18. I ended up getting them on Lyft, but on on a regular Uber, it was like 18, but on a Uber XL, it was 10. So it was cheaper for them to get an Uber XL than it was for them to get the <laughs> Uber X. That's bizarre. Didn't they say there was different surges for the different... I think it's always been that way. Because there would be like it'd be. Well, I don't think there is. I don't think because th- remember when we used to run both and, and we'd be like and one. Be the same. They, when we were being secret about it, not telling anybody. Yeah. Back when we were rude, uh, <laughs> we were running XL only and. Well, well XL so and rude anymore. Well, XL and select only. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys want to have a conversation <laughs> somewhere else? Yeah, but I remember us sitting there and like we were either not getting a surge or getting a surge, and then someone else on X. Would be like, why aren't you guys getting ride requests? I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, all right. I mean, I'm not too upset about the penny surge, so it is what it is. And and it's coming for Lyft, too. It's already in Detroit, so they have the little heat maps or the little boxes. If any rides in this box, you get an extra three bucks, but... Speaking of that, I got the snow bonus this morning from seven to nine with no snow. I know. I was like, "What? There's no snow." I made. I had like six, six or seven rides in that two hours. So extra three bucks per ride. It was nice. Adds up quick. All right, we're gonna go to. All right, this one is the car wash lady. So this has nothing to do with ride share driving. So. Um, car wash. <laughs> we get car washes. Well, I mean, yeah, but it, it's not an actual uh, car driver. So. Yeah. So what about the audio? Are we gonna have to switch something? Uh... Ben will take care of that. So XSplit um, apparently only played half the video, so we'll post that link. Um, basically, if you missed it, it was a uh, well, which they did because we had to kill it. Well, they killed, well they saw <laughs> half of it, so they know the premise of it. Ben will post the link. Um, <laughs> Flowmaster wants to fire the producer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben, can you turn that big fade down a little bit? It's, it seems a little hot there. Thank you. Um, yeah, so she drove into the car wash, and she wanted more uh, time driving driving her air, car. Airtime. Air <laughs> Get it? Airtime. And uh, we're getting audio from the TV, Ben. I don't know. <laughs> it's... It, yeah, we're we're hearing it through the TV. I'll just kill the power. I'll just kill the sound there. Sorry. Yep, fire Ben. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so she drove in and she wanted to get more airtime. What was your joke again? Airtime. Oh, okay. Um, and she wanted to drive more, so she pulled back and the door went down. And she says, "Oh, I can't get out." She called nine one one and was like, "Oh, I can't get out." Um, 
all she had to do was drive forward and the door would have just opened. But she, and there was an emergency button, but she didn't want to get out because she was worried the car wash was going to hit her. And the door literally, you just pull up on it and it goes up. Yeah, it's it's uh it's just a flexible door. You could drive through it. So she's dumb. It reminds me when I was a claims adjuster for farmers. Where, oh, I bet you've heard some stories. Oh man, there was a. I had a friend behind me. Um, they took this call. This guy called in, and he was laughing, and he kind of stopped, and <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, um, my wife went through one of those car washes, and then she realized that the stroller thing was attached to the back, bef- and usually <laughs> we take it off. So she opened the door." While in the automatic car wash. Oh, no. <laughs> and he starts cracking up and he goes, How the door went, it got stuck and so it bent it forward. Ooh. And so she's like, Oh, no, is your wife okay? And he's like laughing and she's crying <laughs> in the background. He's like, Oh, yeah, she's fine. She's just a little washed. It's okay. <laughs> Like he said, it was whipping her around, and <laughs> he was cracking up the entire time. I mean, it, but it's like, why would you get out of an automatic? You have stuff I moving know, around. I know, I know. Well, um, if you ever are bored, go or go to YouTube and look at car wash videos, and there's tons of videos. Because as I was looking for the direct link for yeah. that one, I was seeing some other ones, and I'm like, how did that even happen? What are you doing? Get <laughs> get inside your car. Yeah. My son was. Uh, deathly afraid of car washes for a long time just because i have I mean, a friend who doesn't like them i mean they're pretty violent and there's somebody in this group that goes through car washes I think it was you Me. last time and leaving a message with a car wash i'm like i cannot hear what you're He's saying like, oh. yeah yeah exactly so all right we're gonna do our last giveaway um the question is larry have you, you can't win have you ever had to turn a minor away because they're not old enough to ride as a passenger well, everyone's going to answer yes for that. Yes, I have. Here's here's my question about our live stream. Where's all our fans in that live stream chat? I was just thinking about the 19 Johns we have in there. Yeah. Like We never posted the link in there, but... I thought you said it was seven. Oh, seven? <laughs> Damn, you just keep adding. Just I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm an exaggerator. You know, the fish gets bigger. I think that snow got to you today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's... Uh, Let's throw Ben. Why don't you throw the um, lift chase. the lift chase? Don't put it on our screen. So that's crazy. Can you imagine being in an Uber and <laughs> the guy cha- runs from the cops? I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. He was showing off, and then he got a uh uh. I mean, they clocked him at like 110, and then he took <laughs> off. I mean, I wonder what the story is with him. If he had like. A warrant or something? There had to have been something. Because why would you just not pull over and just take the ticket? I mean, did you really think you were going to outrun him? I mean... You had a charger, though, you know? I don't know, but what an idiot. Um, So let's... All right. Did you get the last one, or are we still working on it? I have two responses, so it's going to be one of the two. Well, let's just give it a little bit longer. Why don't you tell your uh, story about uh, what happened to you today? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Um, and the Flowmaster's cop, cop, did does he get? Has he got into the any of the? I put him in. Oh, okay. Uh, he says, "Ha, ah, savage lift driver! All his lift earnings down the drain." Yeah, and um, not just what he made that night, but for the next six to eight months while he's sitting in the prison, <laughs> sitting in a jail cell. Does does lift not beep at you like Uber? Like if you got over, if you got eighty, it would beep at you. Yes, that was a big lift sack. Sorry. Uh, Uber does, even if you have the settings off, right? But he was asking if Lyft, Lyft does. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know. I've never gone 80 with a Lyft passenger. I have with an Uber once. Right. What? When I was going to Traverse City and that guy was sound asleep and it was like one thirty in the morning. And you were like falling asleep? Yeah, I was hauling. Like I pushed it to 80. He, a couple of times he's like, what's that beeping? Shh, shh. <laughs> go back to sleep. Elsie <laughs> so, El- just joined us. Ah, well, that's actually perfect timing. I know we can talk about it. Um, so I'm going to tell you my quick story. So I am a gig economist right now. So I drive for Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, Instacart. Screw Uber Eats. No, I'm done with Instacart and shipped right now. But I have done Instacart and shipped, and then Amazon Flex. And so today, I'm like, I have 
what did I talk about? This CC will love this. I was being so bougie. Like anytime there's any ice or snow, I'm like, I'm gonna go park my truck. And so <laughs> Gabe was giving me a hard time. I was like, don't be an ice princess. Right, right. Yeah, that's, yeah. This is gonna be my new nickname because I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna snow. I'm not taking a flex shift. Well, for some reason, I got a wild hair and I took one. So it's fine. I mean, the weather never even iced over. Nope. It was fine. So. So I'm going through my day and just – and I got to turn right on the street and it says road closed. And I'm like, whatever. In the city, you know, you're like, it's fine. You know, you, <laughs> you got to be able to get a fire truck down there. So I'm like, oh, okay. It looks a little drifty. I'm like, okay, I'm going. I'm like, oh, that was a little deep. And I'm about three-tenths of a mile in. I'm like, oh, stuck, <laughs> stuck, 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 stuck. And I had like 16 packages. I thought I had stops, but I realized it was packages. But – um. So I'm like, okay. Within two minutes, I called roadside because I knew I wasn't going to get out. So they're starting to wreck or whatever. Some some old cooter comes down in his pickup truck. <laughs> I mean, this is country living, right? I'm in the boonies, right? Did you call him a cooter? Yeah, yeah. old cooter. Like, well, <laughs> there's a definitely some definition, different definitions for that. But old, I would say old cooter. Like, I'm just going to leave that one alone. <laughs> I know. I, I didn't even get it. And he's like, did you just say cooter? So he comes back. We, I have a to- I keep toe straps in my car just for that occasion, not just for getting stuck, but if I have to pull somebody out, I mean, whatever. And uh, so, yeah, I hooked it up, and he tried- He couldn't pull me out. Even with his four-wheel drive truck, it was just too much. So he unhitched, and he drove off. So I'm waiting for the wrecker. Wrecker comes. It's a flatbed. Oh I'm like, God. Okay. So I wouldn't think they would have sent a flatbed to winch somebody out. I mean, that's usually when you're towing, right. like, it's an accident. He's like, he's like, I don't have a very long line or whatever. And I'm like, okay. And uh, so he backs up. He gets stuck. <laughs> so he puts his, like, I don't know, he, rig- he gets himself out. And he's like, sorry. So he drives away. <laughs> well, he says... He says there's a towing company in Holland that has a four by four. It's called a hook truck, where it's you know the regular, just the yeah. regular tow truck. Okay, cool. It's called reliable towing or whatever. So I call, I call um, this guy, and he's like, "Yeah, I can come out with a skid steer, which I think is like some sort of like bobcat to pull me out, but it's two hundred fifty dollars an hour." You know, he's like, I'm going to say it's going to take me two hours by the time I load, and it's it starts from the time I leave the shop and. By the time I get back. So 500 bucks. I mean, you know the story. Yeah. And so I says, uh, okay, let me call my insurance company. So I call farmers back. I'm like, you need to get reliable towing <laughs> out of Holland. They're like, okay, we'll take care of it. All of a sudden I get a text. Oh, your, your, your driver's en route. It's 90 minutes. Well, meanwhile, I've been sitting there for two and a half hours. <laughs> 90 minutes. So I'm thinking, okay, he's just busy. Come to find out it was reliable towing in Muskegon. Oh, no. Yeah. So... He calls me 10 minutes out, and I was like, are you coming with, like, a skid steer? He's like, a what? <laughs> I'm like, this is reliable towing. He's like, yeah, out of Muskegon. <laughs> well, he came with a hook truck, and he did eventually get me out. He had four-wheel drive in it, and he winched me up, and he had enough rope, and slowly but surely pulled me out. So and what did we learn today? The insurance paid all of it? What? The insurance paid all of it? Yeah, so interesting. Here's a little I didn't know this about uh roadside assistance. So they use this software, right? And it's called Honk, the guy told me. And so what it does is it sends out a ping to everybody and the, they ask the driver to put in a bid. So you basically bid what you want on it, right? And then you find out if you get it, you wait. So he said his boss got it and he's like, "Freaking Holland, I'm not driving to freaking Holland." He's like, Eh, put a bid in. So they put a ridiculous amount of money in. They want it. <laughs> He's like, they already ran the credit card. Like, even if I can't get you out, I'm getting paid. And I was like, because I was wondering why he would drive from Muskegon for this job. I'm like, there's plenty of other companies. Like, wow. my boss put a, a ridiculous amount of number. And they, well, I, I think what it was is Farmers was like, all right, this is the second tow guy. This guy's been sitting here for three and a half hours. Mm-hmm. Don't care how much it costs. I bet you it was three or $400 tow. I would say oh, probably sure. more than that. Yeah. yeah. So... So what have we learned? So when you see a road close sign, especially in the country in the winter, do not drive down it. 
I mean, Gabe almost got stuck. Yeah, but, but I didn't smart. have a road close. No, the, you would have <laughs> had an excuse. Like, I was on the email. I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm turning onto your street right now. I'll be there in a second. And then he was like, wait, you can get down my street? And I'm like, yeah, it's a little dicey, you know, when you turn on it. And he's like, um, and he goes, you should stop now. And I like <laughs> slammed on my brakes and I was like, oh, and I'm driving into a four foot drift. And he's like, nobody can get out of their house. Like. I go, oh, is there another way I, I can get out? And he goes, no, the other way is bad. It's probably the best way you came in. And I'm just sitting there like, I start to back up. I slide. And I'm like, oh, no, go forward. And then I slide. And then I go forward. And then I, it took me three attempts to back up my tracks. And that is hard when it's all white. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're just kind of like, kind of. I literally rolled down my window. I'm like in a blizzard with my head trying to watch my tires. <laughs> and I've, I'm like, oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out at the end. Because, you know, the plows, yep, yep. they push there. But then they hadn't plowed for three days. Yeah. And then so there's drifts. And so I'm like, all right. I'm like, there's no one behind me. It's not like anybody's coming out in the country. So right, I right. floored it. Yeah, you almost to have to do off. that. Well, it's weird in the. <laughs> Bless you. It's weird in the daytime with drifts because you can't see how deep with it. You know, when I was finally when I was in it, I was like, oh, I'm screwed. Like, there's no getting out. Like, my, my truck's like, rrr, 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 rrr. hello. <laughs> you know what's times. funny, though, is it's not funny, but I have you like messaging me that you got stuck. And then I had Pelka message me. She got stuck today. Yeah. Where? In a drift? Must have been a drift. Uh, kind of. It was thick snow and ice. Because there wasn't any... We didn't get any... We haven't gotten any snow in a while. Right. And she was out in the... She was in Sand Lake. Oh, so no. So it was the two country areas. I would turn that down so quick if I got to... Sand well, Lake? Yeah. Well, it's... In this weather? It's no... Holland was the same way where we were. You didn't have any drifted over roads? No, I was good. My, no. I was in the city of Holland. I you didn't have anything. Well, Alex is convinced that you need either a better vehicle or a better driver. <laughs> <laughs> Alex can F off. <laughs> so uh, Flowmass actually has a crazy oh. story that I need to share because yeah. this is crazy. Hold on. Before you before you continue, Alex is kind of the one of the starters of GR Ride Tour Adventures. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, Alex Dunn. Yep. Oh, I did not know I just that. wanted to let everyone know. Like he was so kind of the like beginning. One of the OG OG? Yeah. Kind of the OG OG, yeah. And then then yeah, then some things happened and whatever, but he's a cool dude. So anyways. All right, Flowmaster. I know cool he's watching. Yeah. Flowmaster story, go. So he dropped off let's see here. He dropped off his Hispanic chick and she burnt her boyfriend's mobile home and then he took her back to her home because the boyfriend so. had she was cheating on her. <laughs> so he he, All right, let's, let's say that so, again. So he had a Hispanic girl in his car, and he dropped her off at a mobile home, which was the ex-boyfriend, which she then put on fire. And then she took... Uh, he, she put the mobile home on fire? Yep. The mobile home on fire. Uh, yeah. While he was there? The uh, probably not. And then he took her back <laughs> to her home because the boyfriend was... to her house, they see fire truck. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, Jamie Martinez. <laughs> he jo he just joined in. You guys remember Jamie, right? Yeah, you, long time he ago. He doesn't. You guys don't. Roger Jackson's. he got stuck in a pool in Florida today. Roger, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Roger drives out of Kalamazoo, I think. <laughs> Cece says she got stuck today in Holland. Took her five minutes to get out. Oh, wah, wah. I had 11.30 to 3 shift. I got home at 7 p.m., so... <laughs> I had a seven and a half hour. Oh, I forgot to submit my uh, overages. Overage, yeah. Can I do that anytime? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he he goes, bring me some food. I was like, I'm at the grocery <laughs> store. He's like, bring me some food. I'm like, yeah, what am I going to have park, put on parka and snow pants and walk five tenths of a mile like <laughs> to bring you food? And what's funny is that I, I don't know why I said ravioli. Like, yeah. I haven't eaten ravioli since a kid. That's the first thing that popped in my head. I'm like, bring me some ravioli. <laughs> you probably weren't even shopping for ravioli. No. <laughs> uh, oh, Cece says she can read. <laughs> The sign, the road close sign. Oh. Shut up, CC. <laughs> Sucker. All right, revoke it. Revoke it. Revoke her card. All right, well, the last winner is um, Elsie. All right, if Elsie is still on, please message uh, Ben via Facebook Messenger. Message GRI. Message GRI. Sure, don't message Ben. He won't, he won't talk to you. All right, so we're going to just jump into the tip. The rest of them are kind of 
the rest of our some guy found some fentanyl although we can go on that one real quick it's kind of interesting um so he picks up oh, stupid link uh in california it says the man told the driver he didn't need a ride but wanted to deliver a box to the woman that he crested the ride Official said the driver was hesitant to fill the request, but since the man knew the name of the person who requested the ride, he agreed to do it. I probably would have, too. I mean, I've never done one of those, but I feel like once a week in Grand Rapids, someone posts something that says, oh, this is my passenger today. It's like a box. Sleeping bag. I, yeah, a I, had sleeping a, I took bag. a sleeping bag and shoes to a kid at camp. Right, right, right. So I don't think it's super. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't gotten it, but. Anyways, um, bah, bah, bah. the Uber driver put the sneaker box on the floor near the passenger seat and headed to the location. Suddenly, as he was crossing the Golden, Great, Golden Gate Bridge, the woman canceled the ride, leaving the driver with a mysterious shoe box. So then what do you do? Like You're like, hmm. So officials say minutes later, the driver spotted a sheriff's deputy and asked for help to examine the box. The deputies found a pair of Nike sneakers inside with suspected fentanyl in the right shoe. So authorities took the sneakers into evidence since the driver wanted nothing to do with the shoes or drugs and joked they'll be waiting for the owner to claim them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, idiot. I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I – I would immediately open that sucker. Oh, yeah. I would have – I would. yeah, why did he go to the police right away? I bet he suspected it was something shady because wouldn't you just pop it open and be like, oh, that's Maybe cool. it was his and he got freaked out because he saw a police officer. Yeah. It, <laughs> you know what? could be all made up. Who knows? I mean, it could – he could be a little B. Um, all right. Elsie, is she on? Yep. She is. We got it. Okay. Um, Tip time? Yeah. Go ahead, Ben. Nick. I don't so, have Whoever it. has a microphone. Jesper. It's Jesper. Jesper's. Go for it. So the tip time is sponsored by Van True Cameras, and we'll be posting a link. And, you know, Jason asked me earlier today, what is the tip? And and I think that the first thing I come up with is just – I think it's particularly for part-time drivers because, you know, full-time drivers are driving no matter what. But it just check your attitude. So before you go out, if, if you guys are not up for it, just, just stay in. Because if your atti- attitude is not good, and it, it you, you're going to be able to see it on, on your rating the next day. Riders can sense if, if you're not in a good mood and if you're not feeling it. Just it's It's just not worth it. So that was my tip. Yeah, I think – to elaborate on that, I've I've had times around midnight where I'm just like, you know what? These people are pissing me off. Like I'm going home. Or, I'm gonna I'm gonna snap on somebody. Or we're we're planning on driving and then we decide not to because we're just not friggin' happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean yep. that usually means I'm sleeping on the couch. But um, no, yeah, you just it not doesn't mean you have to be in the like the greatest mood. But I mean, if you're just don't be a dick. Yeah, exactly. If you're feeling like you're gonna snap off, like. Don't go out because it's not going to, especially, I mean, during the day is probably fine, right? Because you don't get the drunks. Everyone's pretty quiet during the day. I mean, airport rides typically aren't, but I don't know about you in the early mornings when you're taking people to work. They don't want to talk. They're tired. Some don't. Yeah. Very rarely I get a talker. I hate when people talk a lot in the morning. <laughs> oh, see, I don't mind it. I'm a talker. Like, I love the mornings. I'm a morning person, so I'm ready to rock and roll. So, But I have to remember that I've been up since 430. They may have gotten up at 6, so... And it's 6.30, and they're getting in a car. So they've been up for half hour. How many monsters have you had? I've usually had a cup of coffee and a monster by then, by 6.30. So (laughs) I know it's terrible. All right, we're going to jump into questions, and Elsie's on. And so I don't – I'm going to read this, but I want some clarification. So I just got home, wanted to tell the guy that picked up at J-Dub. So is she saying she got picked up, or she's talking about a passenger that she had? Another passenger. So she was a witness to this. Okay. That picked up at JW Mary at 6.30 this morning in a white Ford Focus and took his packs to Muskegon. You really shouldn't be asking packs for cash. Then when he says he, he doesn't have it, you tell him that you'll take him to the ATM so he can pay you cash for the ride. It's so freaking crooked. Seriously, it gives everyone a bad name. I hope you get deactivated. I don't know if he was in this group. Probably not. He's not. But that is weird. Like... That's like ro- you're like robbing somebody. Like, I'm, hey, well, you got any cash? Not the insurance aspect of it. Well, you have no room to talk about insurance. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you just be quiet. You don't even have a rider. No, but it's true. Um, you're you're not covered under insurance. But it's like, a safety thing. Like, you have no record of this ride. What if? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, is, yeah. Is it really worth? I mean, yeah. You're you're definitely getting quite a bit more on cash. But what if they throw up in your car? What if they? You're right. like, I'm taking you to another ATM. Like. Yeah, so I'm interested to see what Elsie says, um, if she has any more update about this, um, or how she found out. I know it's kind of hard for her to kind of text it in, in typing, but 
Um, so, yeah, it is crooked. I mean, you kind of sign. Have we all taken cash rides? Of course we have. We're not idiots. It happens. But to do it on the regular and to tell somebody, well. I'm uh, not taking you unless you give me X amount. Yeah. She said it was in New York. In New York? It, well, so the, the guy, guy was scared to go to the ATM because he got to get robbed by people waiting. It happened in New York where he he was from. Oh, this didn't happen in Grand Rapids? No. Or me? No, Maybe I think she was, was telling about a passenger she picked up at JW. Oh, I'm oh, confused. Oh, she said no. Hold on. Well, she like threw the guy uh, under the bus. He, was, un- from he was from New York. Yeah. Oh, the PAX was from New York. Right. Oh, and so it happened in... Okay. We just need to call Elsie. I know. I know. We need to work on getting phones into here because there's like a 15-second delay from whatever we say. So it's... Yeah. Um, They don't know that, but it is a 15-second delay. So he was from North. She picked him up from his... She's seat. like, shut up, Jason. You're dumb. Yeah, exactly. It's not that hard to understand, well, Jason. I just want to know the whole story. <laughs> you know, but it, it, it sheds light that there's just shady shady drivers out there. It was like yeah. the one I had today. You know, it was a service animal. Mr. Mohawk, a Lyft driver. I'm going to throw that out there because it really makes me mad. Mohawk? That, yeah, it was M-U-H-A-Q. Mahark? M- Mahawk. No, there was no R. Oh. So, Arabic? Like, I don't know. I, mean, I, I literally was about to turn into the parking lot and the Lyft rider, you know, was calling. I'm not going to answer while I'm... No. You know, so I turned in and I said, as soon as she, I, I saw her, I was like, I'm sorry I missed your call. And she goes, well, I was calling you because I have a service animal. The last guy showed up and told me, absolutely not. He was not taking me. <laughs> and I was like, you know, it's against the law, right? And she goes, exactly. I said, you need to report him. And, you know, he's not allowed. We sign out. When we sign on, we get a little prompt. How many times have we gotten the prompt where it says, you agree to take yeah, pretty much when emails the, and texts? It's and pretty, emails it's and pretty text. much we get it when it's in the news. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that and it, they, do they it. sent it in text. They've sent it in emails. Right. We've had the alert on the apps. And I was like, report him. Yeah. You know, it's not fair. I, I understand why drivers don't want to do it. I get it. I mean, I have a dog. I love dogs. So it's, but I still wouldn't want a dog in my. Well then, Truck. but the thing of it is, is when you agree to their terms, I, I'm just right. saying I wouldn't want. Right. I would do it. I just don't want. So, right. but they're just making the decision, just like the car seat, right? They're yeah. just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm an independent contractor, so I'm just not going to do it. But yeah, it's BS. I mean, I would take it for sure. Mm-hmm. So, what kind of dog was it? It was an American Bulldog. Ooh, yeah. She has a service dog? Yeah, they were training him. He had his mm. little vest on, and <laughs> she was training him for her husband. You need to get but, a selfie when you have those little dogs. He like. was the cutest dog. He was six months old. Oh, And he just sat there. like He well-behaved, just mm-hmm. sat there. I literally took her maybe a mile and a half. Mm. You know, it was a min fair. Yeah. And then I got a $5 tip off of it. Of course like, she did. She appreciated it. She said, thank you. Yeah, what a pain in the ass. Can we talk about how this... I mean, I know you're not on Lyft, but re- <laughs> I, we have to do it. You know what? You do take I, – I have to say, you do take it well. I would probably be fussy with you by now. Can we not talk about it? Oh, so he's not <laughs> taking it well. So I, this is completely random, and we'll move on. But the Lyft adding it in the queue, I feel so bad to some people because I will not touch my tablet while I'm driving. Yep. So I have to wait till I get to a red light because if I can see they're really far away from where my drop off is, I'll drop them right away, right? Because I don't want them to wait. There's sometimes I'll drive 20 minutes like on a long ride, longish ride, and I get there and they're like 20 minutes away. I cancel on them. So they waited 20 minutes for me to get to where I am and then for me to cancel on them. It sounds like a dick move, but I'm not driving 20 minutes. It's with, not worth it. It's not worth it. I I don't I wish Lyft would go back to the way way Uber does it and let us know where you know where it's at so at least we can make a decision on the fly. But I just feel bad for passengers. You can you can turn on last ride. You're mm-hmm. right, but the problem is I don't want to do that when I want to keep working. I yeah. want them to add it, but I also feel bad for them, but not enough to go pick them up. But it's like they can they must. Well, if you pe- feel that bad, just sign on last ride. Well, no. I mean, I guess I could do that, and I do do that sometimes. But if I forget, I think it's just what he's saying. It's when you're on uh, working for the bonus, it's just nice to keep lining them up, to right. Keep on going, right? Yeah, uh, I just feel bad for passengers. So Flowmaster has one more question from you. Where is he from? 
I don't know yet what he's from. I think maybe he, he is from talking the, to him LA. the whole night. And- well, so uh, he didn't answer that question. So he says, <laughs> I have a question. Should I report this couple from last weekend? The girl was giving head to her boyfriend. It's a little late. The music was so loud I could not hear them till I went back and saw the photos of her doing it. So the question is, should I report that couple to Uber Lyft? It doesn't I would. say whether. I He's would. from San Francisco. I mean, do you want to get paired up with them again? I mean, if you do, then don't report them. If you don't, don't have the them. music so loud. Yeah, that that seems. I hate when people mess with my music. I'm like, f you, leave it alone. But, I mean, oh. it's up to you. If you want to report them, report them. If not, oh well. I feel like we have no follow up on any of that stuff. We just report them and we expect that they're going to do it. But look at Peter; he freaking got paired up with that guy again. So mm-hmm. you expect that the ride share companies are doing the right thing, but. Well, and that's what I, I told him. Like, that's one of the things Lyft sold you on. Right. Is if you rate a three or less, you'll never get matched up. And with I've never been matched up with anybody. I've you know, and that's why, especially because of the situation on why he deemed him yeah. down. Like, he didn't want to get, which I wouldn't either. Right. Yeah. I don't know, Lyft. You got I you got to do something. That I I understand why they're doing it. They want to keep the driver busy. They want to get the passenger, but you're you're actually hurting your passengers because. I mean, maybe they have a lot of people that will just drive that 20 minutes. I don't know. I won't. Eight minutes or less. Right. Peace out. So um, so I guess we don't know. Flowmaster. I mean, well, it's a personal preference. I mean, right. if, if it was uncomfortable for you, report it. If it wasn't, you were fine with it, don't report it. I mean, it's either or. I would report it. Yeah. I don't want to get paired up with them again. I mean, unless she was good looking, but... <laughs> What? Well, so, then there's the you know should there be a cleaning fee? Who knows? Well, that you probably can't report anymore. <laughs> it's probably dry. So next question is, <laughs> I'm just going to touch on this a little bit. Um, anyone clarify me if the tax summary for 2019 is Uber's idea of a 1099? Yes, this is the second year they're doing it. If you've made twenty thousand dollars or less, you will not get a 1099. You will get a tax summary. Has every all the same information on it? It's just labeled different. And, and yeah. again, it's not from Uber. This is the change in the law. You don't. They don't have to give you an actual correct. This is not an Uber thing because Lyft no. does the same thing. No. It's it's our lovely government. So you know, between last year and this year, I think they literally look identical. As far as what the ten ninety nine and the tax. Well, it, oh. it would be different if you drove more, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually drove less last year than the year before. So, oh, you what, did? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Hmm. Not twenty thousand dollars worth. Well, you probably got a t- an actual ten ninety nine. Last year, I got a ten ninety nine. You no, it's the year before. Yeah, year before. Yeah, last they year, just so. started doing the summary. Yeah, but. I'm so tired of tax questions on all the groups. I just cannot wait till April 15, so I don't have to hear about it anymore. Just hire a tax account. Yes, please. Wait, wait. Wasn't there a picture somewhere? Wasn't there a picture of somebody doing taxes for like 25 bucks? <laughs> I don't know who that was. Maybe but. not hire that person. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I remember who it was. I mean, <laughs> if you don't have any of the ride chair stuff, like I'm sure your basic taxes are pretty easy, but um. it, I know it was. Not as easy as last year with uh, being an independent contractor, because there, like, there was one person I knew who, as soon as they put in the, I don't know, they typed in something in Uber, it automatically populated. Oh, but the numbers that populated was the total for what you made on the ride. So you know, on the form, how it gives you what you totally made, right, right. It put that number in, and they were just like, "Well, that's but that's not what I made." But that's right. because say. you that's because you use that number, and then you subtract their fees. Right, as a and business that's what I, I I broke it down I mean, and explained it. Like, no, yeah. you have to go out and enter this and this and this right. and this and this. So, I I just recommend, and obviously Esper does too, is to get somebody to do your taxes. Oh. Say, like my neighbor's a tax lady. She's really good, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Did she do yours? No. <laughs> I had H and R block. No. I haven't even done taxes yet. I'm not even. So oh, good. I don't. I don't even use her. Right. Yeah, I even. don't. I don't file mine until the very last minute. So. Yeah, yeah we're no. not going to get on this subject. No, we're done. Um, asking for a friend. Uh, so, where are the cancellation acceptance rating located on the app? Thought Uber was no longer tracking these stats. I can't seem to locate this information. Well, if they're not tracking them anymore, then they are tracking them still. They yeah. are. Yes. Where do you see them then? On your uh, weekly pay statements. Yeah. 
the can the amount of can oh Oh, She's I never look and cancel. I never look at those. Yeah, you can't go through the, the app. app. You, you have to go on the, the website. Oh, so it's a desktop thing. Yeah. However, um, it doesn't matter. I don't think. Well, I always <laughs> thought the cancel. I used to get like, I used to get tons of angry texts from Lyft and Uber when I would cancel too much. I don't get them anymore. It's Lyft, like, I do. I'm. I used. Well, it's so well now. You're up because you're doing. That. I feel like Lyft gave up on me because I don't get anything anymore. <laughs> No, you know what it is? I will tell you. If you keep canceling a lot, then you reach a certain level where they're just like, meh, you get put there. Because I got there when I was like listening to you guys, and I was like, I'm not going to accept everything, blah, blah, blah. I started getting them. So then I stopped getting them. And then I went back to accepting, 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 accepting. And then I went back to canceling. not. To, well, no, just not accepting. Oh, okay. And then it was like, you're missing a lot of requests. Oh. And so I started getting them again. And I was like, nope. So now I have a 71%. Wow. Acceptance. I was left. at a 4% last week. <laughs> That's why you don't get them anymore because they're like, there's no help for you. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine, I don't even know what mine was at, but I've been trying to get the bonus, but won't happen this week. Thanks, Amazon. I think I'm on five rights. Oh, my gosh. I'm on way left. I think I'm at like 25 or 30. Oh. You're terrible. <laughs> um, I'll skip this Reddit one first, and then we'll wrap up with that. So last night I encountered a situation where I received a request from a guy to take him from a bar to his apartment. A lady got in the car with him. When we reached the destination, the lady was passed out, completely incoherent, and not able to get out of herself out of the car. The guy had apparently just met her that night. Was it the same? Who was that? CC with that? That was... Do you remember her video? I wonder if it's the same gal. Uh, where he, God, what was her name? Christine, I think. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to sidetrack. Uh, the guy had apparently just met her that night. Would you what you have done in uh, the situation? I end up taking her to the hospital because she wasn't waking up, making any sense to be able to drop her off anywhere else. No, it's good she took her to the hospital. Ah, uh, kind of. I don't think I would have. I would have called nine one one and just stepped out. I mean. I guess it depends on how close you were. You're right. You're right. If I was a mile from the hospital, I probably would have gone to the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the problem is it doesn't say if the guy rode with with them. I mean, that would be different, too. If the guy was in there and he would seem to be with it, I'd be like, all right, let's roll. Let's go to the hospital. You know what I mean? But um, if I was like 10 minutes or 10 minutes away, probably, I'd probably just call an ambulance or the police or something. But because Justin, Justin has had that happen. He called the cops and they took her away. But I um, called the cops. Well, the like paramedics came. Yeah, oh, the, for you? The cops came too, though, for Justin. Did they? They came I, first and oh. then the ambulance came. Yeah, yeah, mine too. The cops kept with. They were KD there first came, and then. And then they wanted to get him checked out. Was it the same situation? Passed out, can't wake him up? Yeah. Like I slam so my scary. I slam my door even because you know how sometimes you slam the. Like, oh, poor white Betty. <laughs> oh. I was like, what? That was so Betty random. White. Oh, Betty, Betty White. White. Sorry. <laughs> Not White. Betty White. God. That's the name of his vehicle. Betty yeah. Betty White. Yeah. Cece says the hooker. <laughs> Christine. Oh. You know. Not, not talking about your car. <laughs> you know, Betty White can be kind of scandalous. I don't know. She's a little feisty. That's funny. But, you know, speaking of that, there was a. Uh, uh, Pelka had one where a guy and a girl got in the car. The guy ordered it, wanted to take to go a certain place, and she could. She was paying attention to both riders, but she could see the girl was just like, "I don't want to." That wasn't the deal, like. Mm. And so she ended up taking. She goes, "Okay, well, it sounds like she wants to go home," and he's like, "Oh yeah, that's fine." So she dropped one off and then dropped her off, and he called. He complained to Uber about really? it. So they readjusted the fare, and so she called and she was like, "No, like this is what happened. I've you know I have my dash cam, and mm-hmm. so they readjusted it back for her." Okay, but he was mad because yeah, he was trying to take a girl home, and she did not want to go home with him because that wasn't what they had worked out. So. That's weird. Yeah, surprising in 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 low crime grand rapids there's a lot of scandalous stuff that goes on that people don't realize when you're driving that's like when i had the escort she told me she was an escort proud loud and proud yeah that's crazy yeah i picked up a few hookers Mm -hmm. (laughs) me too you you picked up hookers (laughs) in the car Uh, well yeah yeah yeah, we know (laughs) you walked right into that one 
So just real quick, um, if uh, if you were on Facebook, what was this, Sunday this happened? Yeah. I don't know. Basically, someone, I'm a pretty big Reddit user, and there's a Grand Rapids subreddit, and somebody posted about an Uber cleaning scam. The link is not live anymore. If you don't have the link, you won't be able to find it. But um, he basically threw this guy uh, uh, under the bus. It was like on the bus, in the bus, on top of the bus, um, and said that he scammed him on a cleaning fee. The guy actually, it, it kind of like I put two and two together. Like yeah. we figured out he wasn't our group. So I told him about it. And I said, what's up? And I was kind of playing both sides. I mean, not trying to cause tr- trouble, but I was defending Brandon and Reddit. But on Facebook, I was like, hey, man, what's going on with this? Like yeah. if you really, I was just trying to flesh it out that he wasn't being shady. So, yeah. I mean, I kind of tend to believe Brandon because he'd I've, been driving for what, three years. Yeah. He had, yeah. It, he it had a good rating, so I'm like, I mean, why would he do this? I mean, I'm not saying he wouldn't do it, but um, yeah, what's it's crazy that it's kind of like small worlds combine or collide. But so this guy was ripping on Brandon, and then 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 it posted kinda, his picture and his posted name. his picture, yeah, and said he lives in 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 where he Grand, lives. Yeah, <laughs> too late. He lives in Granville. So I'm like. What are you doing? So I kept saying in Reddit, I'm like, dude, I get it. Just take his picture down, though. That what? Do you, I mean, what are you doing? Like, and a, a lot of people agreed with me. And finally, he deleted the picture, deleted the whole thread, and everything. Well, I'm kind of glad we kind of peer pressured him to do it. But I mean, I don't know. It's just I feel bad for both of them. The one guy had to pay a cleaning fee. Although he said he got it reversed because yeah. he told Uber he had camera footage Video of them getting footage. in the car with nothing in their hands. So to you spill. don't. Where do you pee? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So he did. Brandon said he didn't sniff it, but he's pretty sure it was pee. <laughs> Should have sniffed it. Uh, I would have done a sniff test. I'm oh, not yeah. gonna lie. It sounds disgusting, but I want to know what's on my seat. I mean, if it's mm-hmm. water, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna take two different approaches if that's water or pee to clean that up. So. So hopefully Brandon didn't get in trouble from that, but yeah. So just interesting on this subreddit, there's 21,000 people in it, and there's currently right now 159 online. I just feel like wow. that's a lot. I don't know. 10 is it? 159 online right now in that subreddit. Doesn't mean I don't know if it means um, they're in the Grand Rapids subreddit or they're online on Reddit somewhere. But just thought that was interesting. So. Anything else? Yester's falling asleep over there. I'm not. I'm listening. Yeah, you're listening? I haven't heard you talk in like a year. <laughs> well, because I'm listening. You're listening? Oh, my gosh. We got any questions on YouTube still? Nope. Nope. Did we ever find out where what's his name's from? Uh, he's from San Francisco. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us and giveaways. Sorry you didn't win, Gabe, but you won because you got to spend time with us. Hey, I got one more. Yes. Yes. Podcast. One more podcast. Yeah, and then I want my free T-shirt. Oh. <laughs> Did you not get a T-shirt? No. Yeah, we gave T-shirts away from the people. How many do you have to have? Three podcasts? Is that what we said? I'm on three. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Then you're good. They're good. Yeah, yeah we are. Jason good. will pay for it. I like free good. stuff. Yeah, you got a free energy drink. That's your T-shirt right there. Hey, well, speaking Nick, of free, why you supposed to show something else you got? Oh, that's right. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot. Everyone's No one's online anymore. Oh, there's 13 people online. I got. I got. <laughs> sorry, Peter. K coat. What? I said sorry, Peter. Yeah, Peter. Let us <laughs> oh, know yeah, how Peter. your coat is. Sorry. Where's your coat? <laughs> I must have got on the last shipment because, like, two days later, Peter um, requested his, and they said it was going to be like four to six weeks. <laughs> Although, wait, does yours say lift? Because I don't know. Cece, I haven't opened it yet. You should see because I'm remember, doing it right now, bro. <laughs> Cece said hers doesn't say lift at all. Mine does. Mine does. It says, what does it say? With a milestone this big, you've got to show it off. So there's the that. Those coats are actually pretty comfortable. It comes in a nice little package right there. Oh, and to a card. You think it was this was handwritten? No. No. It's welcome to the Lift 1K Club. We wouldn't be, I can't even read this. We wouldn't be prouder to see. And that's why you drive for Lift. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the lift 1k club we wouldn't be prouder to see you hit 1000 rides this is a major uh, Ooh, milestone nice, yeah. and much more that's yeah, a thousand nice. connections made 
carports, carpools created and yeah, how's how's reading, bro? <laughs> well, it's a horrible handwriting. Cursive. And days brightened. Power. The Lyft community is lucky to have you. Thanks for your dedication to giving safe, reliable rides to your neighbors. Here's to the next one thousand together. So he does have the Lyft yeah. emblem on the front of the jacket. See, says that's why you got. But see. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give her that one. That one's really good. No, this is a nice jacket. Yeah, no, they're really comfortable. Although I got loose. I mean, I I asked for an XL. Oh, it even says like one K driver on the back. Right. And they see that. Am I doing it right? Cece's not happy. Hers does not say lift. I wonder so if they cool. for women they give you a non lift jacket. 1K on the side? Yeah, her says 1K on the side and lift on the tag on the inside. I wish it was pink. I kind of wish it was pink. Of course I wish it was pink. It's nice, though. It's nice. It's a nice jacket. I'm kind of stoked for it. So, Good I know, job, see, Jason, on that achievement. You know, it sounds silly, but I'm actually kind of proud of it. I don't know why. <laughs> you did it quick. Yeah, when well, you started I started doing full time. Yeah, I started cranking them out. So, But, yeah. Sorry, CC. Yours doesn't say lift. Cece said that looks like a medium. <laughs> She's so funny. I'm telling you, man. She is funny. She needs to start a podcast. Listen to her. Boo. Boo. <laughs> she cracks me up. Oh, my gosh. That line. That's why you got stuck. You can't read. That's perfect. Although, look at this card. I mean, seriously. It's, I can't ever tell. Is it on there? Lower. There you go. Look at how look at whoever writes in cursive anymore. I mean seriously, that's ridiculous. You want to try to read it again? No, no, that's good. All right. Oh, it was lower cuz yeah, okay. All right, guys, we're signing off. Thank you. Shut up, CC. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah thanks, thank you man. very much. Congrats to the winners. Congrats to the winners. Did everyone contact you? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, you can kill us. <laughs> <laughs>